right. We're live, dude. <laughs> Let me get. Welcome, everyone, to Sync Up Saturdays number three. We are excited to share with you this day to finally come back. No sound slash music. Is everything okay? Uh, let me see here. Where is this music? Where is this music coming from right now? Check one, two, three. <laughs> Alright, how we're doing now? Check one, two, three. Check one, two, three. Chris, can you check in? Check one, two, three. Uh, I unmuted it just now. Go ahead and talk. Is it too low? Let me see. Speak. Oh, glorious Caesar. I have no desktop body going through. I don't know why. Let's see here. What is the problem? Well, yeah, I'm really not getting anything here. Let's see. Holy crap. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're trying to figure that out. I'm not getting any audio going through my desktop for some odd reason. Even though even though I can hear it. It's a Streamlabs thing. Let's see properties. Ah, here we go. Check one, two, three. You check again. No audio still going through. Let me see the properties again. What is going on? getting any audio on my desktop oh man All 
right, Chris, see if you can get me some solutions here. Uh, it's like settings for audio, output capture, device, uh, speakers, real tech high definition audio. Um, use device stamp, timestamps, done, but then still nothing is going through. Why is that? Is it because... No, it's not the source. It's not the different scenes. That's crazy. Okay. Let's see if that works. No, nothing. Oh my god. You got Oregon? Yeah, got Oregon. Mic check, mic check, one, yep. two, one, two. Still not getting any sound. Who? Uh, Agar God is not getting any sound on stream, even though it's not coming out. I can hear it. Audio. You can hear it. You can hear I our can voices hear it. as well. Yep. Uh, let me see. Let me see. I hear the music and both of our voices. Okay, then we should be fine. Just lower the game audio a little bit. It's a little loud. You should have it like at 80% on the bar. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, once again, let's, do this. let's try this again. <laughs> so welcome everyone to Seek Up Saturdays. Number three is uh, our online version of Sync Up Saturdays. My name is The Real Panda Bear and my co-host, I Love Twitch Women. Hi, I Love Twitch Women. And uh, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to be commentating you with you throughout the day with lots of exciting Smash matches, lots of great moves, cool moves. Hype moments and most of all, good games. What do you think? What are you most going to be? What are you most excited to see today? Uh, you know, I really want to see like all the players and who they're going to play and just how I can critique them because you know I am an ex, I'm a retired pro player, so you know I'm really looking forward to how like the youth today, like what they have to offer. You know. All right, sounds good. All right. You know, one thing I'm excited to see today. Oh, excuse me. One thing I'm excited to see today would be the. What would you call it? I want to see what other people will come up in terms of, you know, 
strategies since you do hear a lot from you know twitter and general chatter among the smash community you know how like there's a hold they spy sonic for some odd reason <laughs> <laughs> for some reason yeah i, I want to see how many zeldas sonics uh what are other cheesy online characters snakes you know young link young link there you go big fan of that Anyways, our first matchup here is going to be between. Let me get the information here. It'll be Noodle Boy and A714 Panda. Uh, as a <laughs> fellow man of the Panda username, who do you think? Uh, well, I, I don't have any prior information on these uh, players here. So, what do you think? What, what are some predictions that you got on these two characters? On these two players here. Obviously, you're going to have a clear bias for Panda because you both kind of got the same name, <laughs> except you're the real one. So I'm, I'm going to have to go for the other dude just to spite you. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. We're getting, the, we're getting their map bands. And then we'll see what, uh, what character is going to be playing here. Noodle Boy. Have you heard of any of these two players before? I think I've heard of Noodle Boy before. Yo, the frames are dropping really bad on stream. Are they? Yeah. Let's see, we're waiting for them to set up. You should switch over to. Uh, yeah. There you go. Actually, frames are fine now. All right, good. Oh. Man, hopefully it oh. starts doing good. It's gonna end the lobby. Also, if you, anyone watching, feeling generous enough to donate to this tournament for the prize pool then you can go ahead we have a link set up on our discord server and also on the smash.gg server i mean smash.gg page uh you can donate for the prize pool uh thus far i'd like to thank a few people Once I get that information. Alright. Meanwhile, still waiting on Panda and Noodle Boy to pick to do their picks here. So we kick off our sync up Saturdays. Man, I'm looking at the bracket. I'm not really seeing any names here that I usually know, except for IKEA, the furniture company. I didn't even know they played Smash. I mean, what is it? Isn't Leffen Swedish? You think it could be Leffen in disguise? Leffen Smurf. Leffen Smurf. Leffen Smurf. Uh, I see. I'm not seeing anybody. Any any usual like any of the usual uh, contenders. Oh well. Yeah, I mean, based on the San Diego, San Diego PR, you're gonna shut down. Excuse me. I told you. I fucking told you. All right, no matches were happening. Let me message our TO. Do I recognize Pelka or Blue Striker? Nope. Neither of them. Oh, Panda, you gotta switch the scene, bro. Yeah. All right. Excuse me. Excuse us. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's get this set up again. It 
Hello, fellow smashers. Loyal DK main. You kind of do be playing DK main. I mean, you kind of do be playing DK though. All right, same password as before, Chris. All right. Again, you can donate to the prize pool in the link provided in chat. And we'll get the match pool going under uh, the match going shortly. Can get our players back in. We got one in here, where's the other one at? Let's see, that's Noodle Boy. Noodle Boy's probably gonna do his picks again. And there's Panda. Excuse me. What? Almost at a position there. Let's see here. Cause what a real one follow. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Are right, we ready to start? Hopefully Both we can get here. this underway now. Wonder what they're picking to play on Battlefield Final Destination or Final Destination Battlefield. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I just do not even know. What's going on, gentlemen? Waiting for the match to start, bro. You know what I'm saying? Waiting for the match to start. Oh, it's selecting again. <laughs> Keeping us on the edge of our seats. Counter pick, bro. It's a counter pick. It's a five head strat. You wouldn't, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> oh, both of them. It's like, oh, I know what you're gonna pick already, dude. Are we ready or? <laughs> I, th I, I think they're probably picking their, uh, yeah, they're picking characters and stages. So that's probably the stage pick or who knows. It could be a battlefield final destination for all I know. <laughs> Is it, what are you, or, ooh, oh, here we go. We got right, a Samus a and a DK. Now, Automatically already got to support the DK because I just cannot stand Samus online. <laughs> All right. So I think uh, in terms of matchup, I feel like the Samus is going to have an edge here. Mainly because you can be able to zone out the DK, keep some distance from her... I mean, from his uh, just heavy hitting attacks. It all depends on how our pan here handles it. But already a quick 57% from the DK. Hey, Let's check any combos. Know, little forward throw, forward air classic, or down and out, you remember? It's been a while. Let's see, all right, Sam's got the char charge shot. See if she can Ooh, Ooh, there you go. 30 oh, seconds man. in, already got her first stock of the tournament. Man, see you now. Sa Lee. Sam is still racking up that damage after the good, fantastic first stock. Oh, I mean, you got to be able to know your matchup in order to block or parry every one of those forward aerials. The Charshot was looking lethal. Let's see 
DK's just looking for the roll. The, the DK's got to yeah. Tag. DK's got to get a read here. It's gonna be oh. Let's see the here. Dude. Samus though doing a fantastic job of zoning, keeping his their their opponent at bay. Let's see here, DK. Almost prime, like yeah, that. I was about to say, prime opportunity to take the stock, even out the stock, but it's still a 61% deficit. No, he's gonna, he's still gonna be able to rack up damage quite easily, but you know, he's gotta he's gonna hold down that shield button for all those multi-hit moves, you know. Now, one That's thing I good. have noticed here, the DK is rolling a little bit too much. What do you think? He's he's trying to do what he can, bro. He's finding the typical Samus main. Forward air, forward air, forward air. Ooh, already you know? quick 54% already. It's up there, up there, back in. See both of them. Uh, the DK is uh, having a bit of a much more reserved uh, approach now compared to the beginning of the stock. Oh, and a fully charged. Unlucky. I'm gonna take out the DK, putting the stocks two to one. I think that DK is conditioning with the roll, with the dash attack. Yeah, Watch. definitely. Some five head strap, five head strap. <laughs> Both opponents uh, readying up their charged moves. You know, gentleman's agreement. Let's see here. Although, looking at this, uh, Panda is definitely taking the liberty to just let that rip every time. And also, DK not capitalizing on the Samus, just, you know, charging a shot right in front of him. Let's see here. Ooh, DK with a nice up tilt in the roll. You gonna get this stock right here, though? Good question. It's possible. Let's see. Oh, yep. perfect punish. Even stocks right now, 31% deficit for DK, but that means nothing if you can hit Ooh. like a truck. Oh, Anyone's nice up right now. Already at 68%. Diki's already getting the upper hand here. Samus is getting a little bit too desperate. Diki managing to close in the distance on this oh, Samus. He hit the lag switch. He hit the lag switch. <laughs> he hit the lag switch, dude. Oh, the charge punch not going not gonna go through. Let's see, let's see. But the Sam's a little bit more cautious, trying to really space out those moves of hers. Oh, okay. Oh, she's trying to go for the roll reap, but DK was like, no, 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 I'm just going to chill out a little bit here. Nice dash attack from DK. Oh, Another please, punish? Oh, no, that could have been it. That could have been it for the first round. Still winnable for Samus. Yeah, it's still definitely still very winnable. Uh, charge shot read. Can uh, definitely win it, or a couple forward airs. 169 on the Samus. It's very dangerous. Oh, the uh, the up air's not going to connect yet. Still, DK getting some damage racked up on him. He's very easily killable now. 124 percent. He's going to be there. You go. Punish on up B. That definitely, you know. Let's see. What do you think? What do you think about um? This first match, first impressions on both of these uh, players here. They both had their own secret agenda, trying to condition each other. They were both trying to think three steps ahead of each other, but DK just came out on top. He was just one extra step ahead. I feel the thing to let DK definitely like come out on top of the Samus is that he was able to punish those uh, uppies of hers. Um, and so, if say if the Samus didn't uppy out of say shield or from the ledge dk capitalized on that every single time and it gave him the win yeah he's just uh, being over the ledge yeah. all right what, what could be some other options you could do forward air onto uh, off the ledge or you can i don't know air dodge in roll in multiple different options but dk you know managed to cover them very nicely let's see how these I'll players be do up next on this second round of round one. I think they're gonna stay the same characters because you know it was pretty even, but you know just the lag switch. <laughs> the la yeah, we got a little bit of lag, but you know hopefully it won't be too prevalent throughout the day. Oh, 
Excuse me. That was my uh, controller drift showing. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, the order of these players in the ring doesn't uh, change their names. You think I was going to do that? Uh, honestly, Give me a little bit extra work. Can't even tell you, bro. I could not even tell you. I hope he goes Lucas or something, just because he got the little profile picture. I really don't want to watch a Samus. You know, Samus or, you know, most zoners. You know, you can say they're not particularly exciting, but hey, they can get some sick setups. I, I just want to see some setups from the Samus. Mm, no. No? <laughs> uh, no. Straight up no? <laughs> no, I don't think I will. I actually got off the phone with Sakurai right now. He said uh, zoners are going to be illegal when the next <laughs> character comes out. No, my tune link. Sorry. Well, that means you can't play Ivysaur. <laughs> Fine. Still got Squirtle. No kill power Squirtle. What do you mean, bro? Back throw? Come on. No, I'll just play Toon Link without the projectiles. <laughs> but you gotta have the bombs, because, you know, <laughs> they're not e exactly for zoning. You know? <sighs> right, anyways, what, what do you think, um, you know, if you were to give a tip to one of these players, what would you give them? I feel oh, like... If I were to give the Samus a tip, it'd be, uh, you know, just really be careful when pressing the up B from ledge. It's easily pu easily punishable. And then to the DK, I saw him roll a little bit too much as well, but, like, he he, he learned that the Samus was uh, reading the rolls at some point. And then he turned that against him. Oh, Ooh, he actually got a Lucas. Hopped He's Let's stream go. sniping. He's stream sniping. Let's see here. For DK, I gotta change I the names. Lol. For DK, I think he just got, has to do do better with his neutral bees. Yeah, definitely. I mean, DK punch, you know, very quick um, killer there. Let's see here, nice damage on the DK. Look at thirty one percent. Not too massive, but hey, you know, it works. <laughs> Nice uh, shield pressure there from Lucas. What do you think? What can um, what can Panda do here? Oh, oh, unlucky SD. We hate to see it happen. Honestly, nah. I think that was calculated. It's definitely it's part of his it's part of his strat. It's calculated. It's to let the Lucas get his uh, guard down. Watch. I still got my cards on on DK. from the DK. Oh man. Alright, you know, actually that's one thing I would have liked to see from first round. More spikes. He has how many what three, four spikes? He's able to do it. Let's see here. Both players being very careful about each other. DK definitely being careful about the PK Thunder or PK Fire, excuse me. There you go, nice nair. Oh, a nice grab from the DK, although not being able to capitalize on it too much. Oh, the up B from Lucas. 100% calculated. 100% intentional. Another one? I'm not going to be able to kill the DK just yet. DK uh, punishing that up smash. Very reckless of the Lucas, but hey, Lucas feeling pretty good. He just landed two up Bs on the DK. Oh, oh, another ST. We hate to see it happen. I, it was about time, you know. He was kind of happy for it. DK sitting at a very uncomfortable 153%, and that's going to be able to do it. 1-1 one, one stock. Lucas had a 40% deficit. What do you think? Lucas is going to be able to do a comeback here? Lucas making a comeback? Oh, wait. Wait. I, I, I thought DK was down one stock. Man. No, no, no. Nah, uh, DK's going to win. 
Lucas is sitting at a 77%, which is definitely kill-worthy for the DK here. I'm calling it right now. It's going to be a neutral B for the dub. I mean, I see the Lucas here. He's, he's starting to schmoop here, you know? Okay, he's kind of just doing whatever he wants. Nice shield pressure coming up again. Oh, oh Ooh, that was so close. Oh, DK coming for one of his uh, multiple spikes. Yeah, Lucas definitely, he's trying to uh, finish off the stock with um, a neutral B here. Oh. Both, both players are even. I'd say still so DK has the upper hand just based on weight. Oh, is that going to be punished? Punish? No, not yet. Nice side tilt. Still waiting, still waiting for the neutral B. Oh, he's going to punish it. Mm, the spacing. And the, and the back, back air. Oh, excuse me, 2 -0. I got the 2-0, right? yeah, from Noodle Boy to Panda. Excuse me, I got the scores wrong. Well, that was a nice little set to start off. They did better than I thought. Yeah, I mean, I'd say both players played really well. It was very even for a first set. You know, Panda, I'm sorry, you let me down. But, uh, more importantly, good luck to both competitors throughout the bracket. I'd say, based on that match, yes, Lucas did have some really high plays. Both of the uppies hitting like back to back. Oh, that was exciting. But the uppie was also his demise when trying to recover. So close to the stage as well. It just caused him to crash into the stage. Which, you know, how he said, we hate to see it happen. You want to know why the DK did much better this round than last round? How so? Because he, he wasn't rolling. He wasn't rolling as much. Ah. Do so you notice that too? Yeah. Definitely. He wasn't rolling as much. He's like, all right, I'm not going to get read like a fifth grade children's book. You know? <laughs> Jungle book here? No, nah, no thanks. <laughs> One of the little pop-up books. Pop-up jungle book for DK. <laughs> all right. Are this going? Is it best of five? I, I'm pretty sure it's best of three. He kind of just hanging out, bro. He's, he's kind of vibing. Yeah, he's just vibing, dude. <laughs> he doesn't want to leave you, Panda. Yeah, dude. Panda's rise up, dude. GG, my friend. Loyal DK main, which I'm pretty sure is Hinachan with the stream snipe. Yeah, GG. That was, that was some really cool uh, plays going on from both players. I really... Um... What do you think? Uh, do you think uh, it's going to be a common trend to see, uh, what do you call it? We're going to see some people coming in with like their mains, you know, you have the uh, panda with the Sams at first, and then they came in with the Lucas, which is a bit of a, a little bit known for internet cheese, you know? Hard to Wait, is it, it best of again? Is it best of five? five? Oh, all right. Let me, uh, let's get the, um, I thought that was it, but... Yeah, I thought that was it too, dude. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Alright. Now, to kick things off, we got two massive... It is not best of five, that would be told. They're just playing around. Oh, just exhibition match, I guess. Yeah. I, guess. I mean, we, we gotta get a match going out of the way. Two absolute units on the screen. Bowser and EK. I mean, it's good to have that going on while we got the uh, other match being set up. Man, this DK going for a three P. I still got my cards on the DK because man, the dude got his name as Loyal DK Main on Twitch. Like, that's some dedication right there. That's how you know you don't want to miss it. All right. Although, unfortunately, I gotta stop the uh, <laughs> the match going on here because we gotta move on. All right. But anyways. Thank you very much, Panda and Noodle Boy. Is he gonna let you kick him? Yes. I didn't even know you could kick while uh while in game. Yeah, uh, both of you guys, you better be able to check in for your next matches. What the TOs are telling me. Um, other than that, you know, we're still waiting on the next one. 
let's see. You know, what's uh, what's one character you want to be able to see in throughout this journey? You know, one one character you're really looking forward to. Hmm. I'd have to say Pokemon Trainer, of course. You know, Pokemon Trainer. You can see the versatility of three characters in one. Yeah, so I could take notes, so I could improve my own trainer. Nice, yeah. Nice. yeah. I mean, if anything, oh, what are you, what are you doing, dude? Where are you going? I'm just looking at the characters, bro. I forgot what characters were in the game. <laughs> yeah, I want to see a uh, Crash Bandicoot. Real soon. Yeah, that's Yo, for real though, Crash would be perfect for Smash. I'll get in contact with Sakurai, guys. Just do a straw <laughs> poll. Uh, just tweet him on Twitter. Be like, uh, hey, hey, Sakurai, uh, put the crash, please. I'll give you five dollars <laughs> and a coupon to uh, Outback Steakhouse. Mm, no. <laughs> Number one character I want to see added to Smash is Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet. You know, they would go crazy. You know, I'd say. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I myself do have a list of characters that I would love to see in Smash. Uh, for example, I would love to see Sora in Smash. You know? Uh, no. No? Why not? Uh, I hate Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Plus that, if he gets added, that's one less spot for Ratchet and Clank, you know what I'm saying? Okay, well, what if instead of adding Ratchet and Clank, they add Jack and Daxter? Hey, I gave you that idea like five, seven, eight months ago. <laughs> sure about that? I think I told, it, uh, told you about it. I told you about it. Don't don't get it twisted, bro. Anyways, we better get a match going. Otherwise, um, all right, yeah, they got a match going. They're gonna be able to join real quick. I want the lobby to close again. We're going on with this yeah, conversation, like... I would definitely yep. love to see Jack and Daxter, Sora, and uh, Crash Bandicoot. That would be that's a pretty good trio. Uh, here we go. We got our next two players. See, Cosmo, Cosmo the real one is saying Ratchet and Clank was in the PlayStation All-Stars game. I'm pretty sure. So I don't know if they could be in Smash. Yeah, but Jack and Dexter was also in it as well. They were also in it. Uh, we're trying to get our player names here. We got JC and Bruh. Bruh. I think uh, we're going to see uh, some Plank Gang going on from JC. Mm, nah, that's just a facade. So the... It's a it's a five it's a it's a five head strat. So the opponent thinks they're gonna go piranha plant, but watch out. They I bet you I can almost guarantee you he's gonna bust out the little mag. Spyro, Crash, and Sora will all be dope as well. Yeah, I agree. True. Spyro would be pre. Uh, what what do you think? He's probably gonna have a he could have a fire breath neutral B. I think. I think it would be any character from a triple A any modern triple A game would just be good. Like, that goes, you know, like, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we got the Red Yoshi and Nathan Bone Crush. I don't know which which uh, player is who based on these uh, Smash names. I'll try my best. Let's see if the Red Yoshi will play a Red Yoshi. <laughs> well, first of all, if he, has, if he has the same dedication as Loyal DK main, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Bruh is Nathan. Bruh is Nathan? Alright. Keep that in mind when setting up these names. Red Yoshi, sup? Sup, man. Stream sniping? You're trying to see what your uh, competitor is trying to pick? <laughs> Stream sniping, bro. It's not against the rules, though, so we'll allow it. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Like, how can you stream snipe someone in Smash? How much money has been put in so far? Uh, that is a good question. Um, let me ask that to our t our organizers. But uh, obviously, later on, we're going to be interviewing the winner of this whole bracket at the finals. $40. $40. Forty dollars. That sounds pretty good. That's, that can get you a... Uh, couple big mechs just a couple you know you know a little oreo milkshake like four dollar oreo milkshake from jack in the box all right
right. Here we go, here we go. Matter. I think I've seen your name before. Oh yeah, I just pulled up. I see, yeah, you're right here it's talking to me directly. <laughs> Some Jack in the Box churros, dude. Actually, there reminds Hell me. No. <laughs> Hell no. All right, we JC. got an inkling and a cloud. What do you think of this? Two, one, this uh, match I've been manhandled. I've been manhandled by both before, so. But the cloud with just the up air is just devastating. Yeah, definitely. Already a 57%, which is definitely a night. Ooh, 73% going on. Let's see here. Inkling trying to look for an opening. Oh, no way we're going to get to see a zero to death this early in the tournament. I mean, Cloud's got limit. Inkling's at 118%. Oh, is that it? It's just a that zero easy, to death. Gentlemen. Let's go. The Red Yoshi showing Nathan Bone Crush. You know, hey, you know what the sword can do? I know it's a massive sword, but oh, finally a punish from Inkling. But equally retorting and two cross slashes back to back. Limit is already online. Let's see what this cloud can do with this limit. No, and oh, unlucky as pineapple oh, from the stage. I think Bone Crush is really gotta get a Hail Mary here in order to um, get three stocks off of the cloud. Hey, bro, reverse three stocks. Still possible. We've, Still seen, possible. we've seen Leo do it. We've seen Leo do a whole tournament. Uh, loser's run. True. But the thing is, is. Nathan Bone Crush, Nathan, I mean, Nathan Leo, MK Leo. <laughs> Another cross slash. I feel like the cloud, the cloud is really liking that cross slash, but I think it's not because he's just spamming it out. He's definitely finding opportunities to um, get it through. Finally, some more damage for the Inkling. The sword is just too much. Yeah, the sword I, I is definitely too, too much. Well. Nice uh, up out of shield. Oh, oh, immediately firing up. Oh, punish. Just a dash attack. Inkling, very dangerous at the 130 damage range. Cloud is still at a comfortable 42% with three stocks. One more dash attack, and the thing is going to be it for Inkling. What do you think here? Forward tilt's going to take it. Yeah, Inkling's, it. Inkling's got to be able to use her uh, zoning abilities here. Ooh, nice grab. But not gonna be able to. Ooh. The fair. Oh, that's gonna be it. Wow, what a showing from the cloud. Started off with a strong three stock. I really don't know if this dude's gonna stay on the Starting off with a strong zero to death. What do you what do you the What do you think about that? What do you think the inkling could have done to um really improve? Like on this cloud, I I I know I personally don't like I, I have struggled before with the cloud and you know trying to outzone his sword. So what do you think Inkling can do here? Just abuse the back air more. Abuse the back air more, yeah. No. Abuse the back air, the down B, the neutral B. I didn't see I didn't see I don't think I saw the roller come out once that whole match. But yeah, that, that is a good observation, I'd say. But I, I I feel it I feel it inkling. If you're in the chat, I know your pain. I I just same thing happens to me with Cloud. I just I can't I can't. You know I I think the inkling should definitely use more of those paint bombs and more of her neutral B just to like keep the Cloud, you know, at bay and also be able to rack up some more damage when she when she uh, is able to get some of those punishes. Oh, Terry. A 
Terry? I've never seen a Terry in a tournament. Like, like you know, like apart from like the one the YouTube compilations. Other than that, I've never seen a Terry in a tournament. You know, it's also going to be a little bit more difficult to play Terry because you know it's online. There can be um, a lot of uh, mis inputs going on with the true inputs. Already another cross slash from the Red Yoshi. Ooh, the classic jab jab power dunk. What do you think of uh? What do you think of uh, um? Nathan Bonecrack will be able to switch up here uh, against Cloud as Terry. Well, I feel like definitely he's gonna need to get closer uh, since he won't have any zoning abilities other than his neutral B. I think the little I forgot what the move is called, but where he does the back flip with the I mean the front flip with the with the kicks. You know what I'm talking about? Crack shoot. Crack shoot. Yeah. All right, but Terry with the ghost sauce online. Let's see if he's gonna ask. Cloud, are you okay? That's right there. Oh, gonna you get him it. some more couple jab jab power dunks. Definitely getting more damage than last time. Ooh, the nice parry from Cloud. But still, Terry, staying alive, holding on. Oh, but another up smash is gonna be able to do it. Cloud up one stock at a comfortable 61%. Terry losing that ghost sauce, but it's gonna have to work up to it once again. You know, at least he's doing better than last match. Already yeah, off to a better start. Definitely. I'd say uh, he's able to put him some more hard hitting moves out. Let's see, I mean, one thing that I've noticed. Ooh, nice, nice double parry from our Terry here. I'd say though, one thing that uh, the Terry should look out for is a little bit more of the uppy out of shield, since that is something that. The cloud is definitely doing a lot in some condition at this point. No, but like what cloud main doesn't, you know? Our right, Terry with the ghost sauce once again. Oh, the that spike. was devastating. Filthy, filthy, filthy. I'm gonna have to pour one out for you on that one, dude. Like. Let's see here. Yeah, cross slash. Cloud being able to rack up that damage easily. Two crosses, a third one? Third cross cross slash? No, it's a side spam. Oh, that shield is crying from Terry. Nice side no, smash from Cloud. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see here. Terry just trying to look for a oh. Mess up the Jap Jap power dunk. But he's got the ghost sauce online. Let's see. Ask him the question. He's not okay. Yeah, definitely Terry's not okay right now. <laughs> He's gonna ask ask Cloud the question. Ooh, up smash to punish that side special. I gotta say, you know, Cloud definitely one of the strengths of his cloud is that he's punishing everything that this Terry was throwing at him. But I gotta say, um good showing from both of them. Uh, one thing that the Terry could definitely... Well, Alright, let's see. One thing that the Terry should do is that he should watch the bot for this, pause every time he gets hit, and then see what. why did I get hit. I'm happy with the double three stock. Nathan Bonecrash. XD. XD. Good showing from both of them. Let's try to get our next match going soon. Pause and cry. You know, hey, no, it's it's a learning experience, Red Yoshi. You know, you gotta True. pause every time you get hit. And you gotta see why you got hit. It definitely helps out a lot. All right, you know, all right, you know, I just thought, you know what I want to see in this tourney? Mm. I want to see a hero. I want to see a hero just I... RNG, mm. dude. I I don't want to see a hero. Quite frankly, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see a thwack and a kaboom going off and getting the er the early stock. Terry gave me a bit of a fright. Hey, you know, it's a uh, it was a good showing from both of y'all, but definitely like watch this spot, hit pause, and every time you get hit, see why and determine why you got hit. 
Because a lot of the times, that cloud, punishing those uh, moves you were throwing out. Alright. Anyways, moving on. Just trying to get uh, information from our TO on what is coming up next. I just knew what to parry. Yeah. <laughs> just flexing us. I just knew what to parry. It's okay. When you would, when you would air dodge. It's definitely... You know, what do you think uh, about the match that happened? What do you think uh, they I, can do to for next? I understand. I understand how the Terry, how, how he feels like that sword is scary. And it's just very, it's hard to punish, you know, when it's, it's spaced correctly. It's just not much you could do. All right, trying to get the information updated here. Alright, since we are in the month of June, I believe it was June that uh, Nintendo said that we have our new character coming out for Smash, right? They said early summer. Early, right, I, early summer. Or did they say June? I think they might have said June, honestly. Yeah. And I could see. I mean, they said it was going to be an ARMS character, and that their ARMS are going to go super far out. I think it's going to be like a, what do you call it, the the assist trophy with uh, the arms guy. I forget it was, if he has an actual name. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> ribbon, it's just, one, one of them is Ribbon Girl, right? Yeah, Ribbon Girl. I, I, I really don't think it's going to be a, um, a... A pre-existing character from the first arms you know i think it's the gonna be time. a brand new character and they're gonna be able to, they're gonna advertise arms too with it as well there's a first arms there's two arms no there's one arms okay which which kind of it was like a launch title wasn't it or it came out like when the switch first came out like very close to it and it was fun I what's up I said I couldn't even tell you, like, <laughs> didn't you? Yeah. So I think what they're going to do is they're going to announce a brand new character uh, for ARMS, and they're going to release ARMS 2. Mm. That way they can get, like, you know, advertisement, whatever. Yeah, I hope they don't do that. <gasps> All right, we got Spencer. Let me ask once again, names? <laughs> Who's playing next? We're trying to get the next matchup right now. But we got uh, Spencer from iCarly here. What do you think he's gonna do? <laughs> mm, you gonna bust out the camera. Watch. Gonna make a sculpture for us. Let's go look at the bracket real quick. Yeah. All right, Spencer and Chariot. Trying to get the names from our TO on what the... But yeah, I watch a lot of Spargo, so my parry game can be on point sometimes. What do you think of, um... Actually, yeah, since you mentioned Spargo, what, what, what do you think of, um, these child prodigies on Smash? Me? Yeah. They're crazy. <laughs> they're just... They're, they're just really good. I this is I don't know what how else to explain them. Do you think it's because they're actually naturally good at the game, or do they practice it a lot, or do they have a lot of time because they're actually you know children who have a lot of time on their hands? I think it's a little bit of both. I, mean, I, I, I no, wish I could practice a little bit more Smash, but at the same time, you know, I gotta I got bills to pay. <laughs> like. So for some people, like, I know this is, for some people, some games, they just click for them. Like, you know, like, they're just, the way their brain is wired, it allows them to just play the game well. Ready? Oh, ooh, a Joker and a Terry. I'm not getting player names here, so we're just going to go with the ones that are provided for us on Smash. Three, two, one. 
Joker versus Terry. I think this is the first. I don't think I've ever seen this matchup. Alright, we got Sins as well. Alright, nice uh pure leg string. See Joker's already got our set now. What do you think here? I think uh, the Terry is going to try and time out the Arsene going on here. Nah, dude, he's rushing him down. Like, look, the percent difference right now is just... Yeah, it is a large difference going on. The Terry is moving right now. Nah, uh, that's it. He's dead. Oh, he had a jump. Oh, I'm kind of I'm kind of just dumb. Since he's almost able to uh, sneak out of stock there. Definitely, I see some more um, careful planning slash approaching from the Joker here. Oh, but Jab Jab Power Dog is going to be able to clear out that stock. Chariot's still chilling out at a good 88%. Oh, Ghost Sauce online is going to pop into question. Well, the Joker's here. Definitely, uh, what, do you, what do you think? going on here. I think the Joker is definitely trying to get a more careful approach, especially since the ghost sauce is online. I think I think he's kind of just throwing stuff out right now, not really planning, because you know, if I was if I was a Terry, I would just be Ooh. nice little... Is Joker okay? Called. Wolf Buster, right? Buster Wolf. Buster Wolf, right. So I think Terry, you just to get as much percent I think as can. since here, what he's trying to do now, since he's got the Arsan online, he's trying to uh, counter Perry's recovery. But Terry is, uh, you know, definitely he's sitting at 192 percent, almost 200 percent. This Joker still can't close out the kill. Oh Power my guys goodness! Are coming in from Chariot. And there you go. Fair trade. The Terry's auto turn around can break what punish. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that. It's definitely such a massive aid for Terry. Too bad it doesn't work in 2v2s. Yeah, too bad it doesn't work in 2v2s. Uh, Joker, he got a lot of grabs on Terry just now, but he's not capitalizing. He's not getting any combos going off. He's getting punished for that uh, down tilt going on. Chariot really being able to wear down the Arsene meter, and Arsene's gonna be gone. No more help from Arsene, I think, for the rest of the stock, unless Joker somehow lives or gets that Rebel's guard. A nice read on the grab, on the parry with the grab. Oh, that, that closed it out. Damn. There you go. A nice showing from Terry. Oh, this is a nice little first match for the set. Very. Dynamic, you know, very action packed. Definitely. I'd say, um, what we got going on here, Terry is definitely just like be all up on the Joker's business. See, and the th this, this Terry right here, he, what well, he did, he didn't let the Joker use Arsene like a lot, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, I saw a lot of grabs coming from Terry when Arsene was out, and that definitely just limited the Joker's options. He just was not letting him do anything. I wonder if he's gonna stay Joker. I, I want to see more of this Terry though. I, I enjoyed that. Yeah, I don't Terry, get to see Terry many Terry's. Definitely, he's uh, you know, well, it depends on how um, how often this Terry is gonna jab jab power dunk. You know, that's the meme. But de definitely, this Terry was moving around using every single move to his advantage. Definitely, as a viewer pointed out, that the auto turnaround is something that can definitely just like. Absolutely decimate players. Ooh, we got a wolf coming out now. Wolf? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna wanna sit up for this one. Take notes. What do you think? Uh, some more um up close and personal options for sins with wolf. Definitely an easier and more forgiving character, but already chariot getting a 39% on. Jab jab power bomb. Racking up that damage. 
can see here. I feel like once again, Wolf is just trying to—he's just trying to get some hits in. It doesn't matter what kind of hits; he's just trying to get some damage oh, in. And the one, SD. Like, he yeah. hates to see it happen. I mean, to be fair, he's already at 100 plus percent, but he didn't really get to do much with that stock, which is exactly unlucky. Yeah, I mean, I'm not seeing any, you know, some of the bread and butter combos from Wolf. You know, the grabs, the dash attacks. Very difficult for the wolf to get in on this Terry. Like Nathan says in chat, bro, PS2 or Battlefield would go crazy right now for wolf. On another KO. Yeah, Terry definitely with a uh, Terry's ghost sauce. You know, if you have platforms, it's gonna be a little bit more harder for Terry to be able to hit his opponent. But on FD, it's open season for him once he gets to that 100%. True. Oh, a, a nice, trade. you know, potential trade. Oh my god, he's just challenging all these smash attacks from the wall. Man. Also, power dunking off of the stage. He just wants to finish it. He's out for blood right now. He's feeding. Oh, oh finally, a it. down smash from the wall takes a, lets him take a stock. But he's going to be able to bring it back here. Finally, the first, I think that's the first grab from the wolf. Second grab. Let's go. Alright, he's starting to. He's really starting to. Um, he's, started, he's getting some momentum here. That ended oh, it. Wow. I didn't think it was going to end it. <laughs> 2 0. Chariot to Sins. Both players, you know, definitely. Sins was definitely getting some more momentum at the end there. But uh, premature death is gonna be able to do that on the wolf. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I wanted the wolf to win because I really like wolf. You know, like he's one of my he's one of my characters, and it's I, sad to see him get demolished. I like to see a wolf player like you know just move around so deftly. Gone. Let's see. Let's try to get our next match info. I I still, you know, definitely. I th I think uh, our wolf player or since you know he he definitely has a good chance to come back. You know, on his losers run, mm -hmm. and you know he'll he'll be able to definitely you know bounce back. He's getting some momentum. He's learning his mistakes, and you know I, I feel like we'll 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 see from him again. Yeah, if he comes back around through losers, uh, uh, I hope he picks something else other than FD. Yeah, definitely, that that match also came down to like stage knowledge and you know counter picking based on what uh, what character his opponent is playing. Damn, we're almost into top eight. Really? Uh, we have. Well, actually, I don't even know where we're at. Never mind. Just disregard that. <laughs> What's the bracket looking like? We have people in almost in winners' quarterfinal. Finals. My bad. Exactly. A lot of DQs. Select who's going to be on stream, by the way. Uh, I'm 33rd, round four. You know, uh. I'm getting. I'm just getting information from the TO, and he's like relaying it to me. Um, and like he just sent it to me. He makes him join the lobby. No one joining yet. We're still waiting for our next game. Might be playing a Bowser next. Ooh. I played against Chariot round one and got wrecked. Dude, that Chariot, I feel, dude, I feel like he's got a really high potential to make it to top eight. What do you think? Cherry was the Terry just now? The Terry, yeah. Yeah, his rush down is it's pretty good. He's really able to, um, you know, pressure their opponents a lot with uh, Terry's moves. And especially since Terry is, if you, um, oh, who do you got? We got Balon versus Chariot. Oh, we're going to see Chariot again here. 
Mm. I'm excited to see some more of this Terry. I could have gone in game two maybe if I had just edge guarded him correctly because he went low every time. And with my double three sock, I have a good feeling for two sixteen, top sixteen. See, you know what I've noticed since this tournament started? I haven't seen a lot of edge guarding really, like going off stage, you know, to try to just secure a kill. Like, especially on the Terry's, like. Yeah, you're definitely right on that. You know, like with our first match with the DK, you know, I feel like we could have seen more more spikes going out, you know? Has so many options Samus, for that. Samus could, could have easily gone off stage to forward air to gimp him or something. Saw none of that, though. Yeah, Cherry and Bellon here once again. With Wolf, he should have tried to down smash ledge. Yeah, definitely. Wolf has that advantage against Terry when Terry's uh, recovering off stage. Since that down smash can cover a lot of the ledge. Especially since Terry doesn't immediately snap onto the ledge either. When he's uh, recovering. See, that's one of the reasons I don't play Terry. Just for the sole fact that he doesn't snap to ledge. Oh, here we go. We got a Samus and a Terry once again. Honestly, I have I don't know who I don't even know like who's favorite to win this. Wait, never mind. Just ignore that. <laughs> that it was the same Samus from earlier. Three, two, one, go! Just some names here. It's a awfully uh, calming music for action going on in screen. Already Pelon getting at a 58%. Sam just keeps getting grabs. Yeah, both both players here are definitely getting their trades in. But it, it's possible you can check what round this is, because I'm sure this is not round one winner still. This is round... Oh, already a stock from Chariot. I didn't even get to see. Let's see here. Chariot's got to be able to recover. Hello, not. Oh, the ghost sauce is online. Let's see. I think Bellin's gonna start to fish for those back airs on the Terry. Back there, gonna do it? Ooh, up throw. Alright, Chariot definitely trying to get any amount of damage here, but Bellon just keeping him at bay. Good bump for the attempts. Ooh, with the charge shot! pretty good you know uh what is it if uh if you take a stock from your opponent and you don't manage to take a damage from your opponent's next stock it's to the opponent's stock <laughs> man i feel like both players here definitely you know they're they're reading each other they're trying to dial both pdfs Ooh, nice the sam is just having some like nice dodges definitely samus is using all all of his all of their options here the whole kit the whole kit Ooh. nice punish from Bellon. Ooh, Ooh, the bomb the setup but this is what i want to see when we uh when we had the samuses were you able to find out what round this is Oh no! Uh, what are the what are the players' names like? The uh, Chariot on? and Pelon. That's it. Like that's. So, yeah. I looked that up. I can't find them on the website. You find uh, Pelon? Nope. Right, I'm not getting I'm not getting an info what round this is. I'm gonna try and fix that. All right, Ghost Sauce is online for our Terry here. Oh, you saw, you saw him crouch here. He's getting ready to ask him the question. He's getting another bomb right setup. Go. Oh, yeah. He was try he's trying to get the... Ooh. Power guys are not going to go to connect. Still a lot of pressure from both of these players. The Samus, though, getting a little bit more of an edge with these um, projectiles. Dash attack nearly going to kill. Oh, no. Hold on. They hate to see it. Power gun going the other way. It's one of the drawbacks. If you do your, um, 
special moves too fast, it's gonna go the wrong way. But another jab jab power dunk gonna be able to secure that last stock. Both players pretty even right now. I'll, uh, it can go either way. Truly, anyone's game right now. Oh, nice little wall jump. N nice pressure, it's covering all the options here. Sam is trying to approach with that fair and charge shot. Let's see here, both players playing footsies around each other. Oh, fair. And he's full, especially the at the edge. Gonna take that. Who would have thought? You know, neutral getup. It's gonna do. That's gonna do that to you. <laughs> right. Fantastic showing for both of them. That was a good match. Our previous champion chariot. You know, struggle a little bit. Not. It's not the same opponent. You know, this Samus is definitely. You know, showing up, bring the whole dinner to the table. Right. Let's see. If they're gonna do any switching going on. Chariot going back. He's probably. You think he's gonna switch it up? He's gonna switch it up from Terry. Or both of them are gonna switch it up. Let's see. Let's see. What do you think? Um, what do you think about their performance on that match? They. The Samus just had better dodges, I think, and better grabs. Just the fact that it's a, it's a ranged grab. Yeah, and I also f I feel that the Samus was able to really close in on distance for uh, just like pressure to Terry. That platform, though, it helped a lot. Like, if this is FD, this match could have gone in a completely different direction. Yeah, are right, we gonna go back to what is this? Smashville? Already some good damage being racked up from both of them. Already 26% with just two uh, neutral bees. Chariot and Felon both trying to look for an opening. Jack Jack Power Dunk gonna put him with 60%. Hopefully, we see more of those bombs that the Samus was setting up last uh, last game. I feel definitely Chariot is using his neutral beam more. He's trying to zone out and rack up a little bit more damage on on Helen. The Samus is very patient. Yeah, I agree. The Samus is super patient right now. Mm -hmm. Although right now, it, the Terry is being able to just rack up damage, rack up some more percent, and out zone a little bit this other Samus. Sam is trying to look for an opening for a oh, back here. Nice, nice dodge on the Terry. Ooh, nice wall read. Go sauce is online. So much has happened, like it's hard to believe it's still first stock. The names are reversed. Yeah, names are reversed right now. Nice bomb. That's tech, not gonna do it. Cheers, cheers. Almost yep, with I know. Yeah. yeah, because it makes the stream lag a little bit on my on my end. We're just keeping the names on for now. The chariot is Terry right now. Helen is Samus. Nice jab jab power dunk. Both both players here still very even despite the first stock from both of them. Ooh. Alright, a little bit of a punish from Helen. Still Helen. He's trying to really space out those uh forward airs of his.
What do you think uh, both players here can try to capitalize on each other? Well, just the Samus right now just seems to be throwing out a lot of non-charged neutral bees. And same thing with uh, Terry. He's throwing a lot of uh, neutral bees out. Yeah, the neutral bees are definitely helping out our Terry here and being able to approach and rack up some more extra bonus damage. Ooh, oh, nice. Knuckle Burn gonna take the stock there. Now, Chariot up. One stock. So, no doubt. Oh, a Ooh, little bit of a cheeky stage spike. Bellin trying to get a down special setup. Ooh, barely being able to recover. Nice jab jab power dunk. A bit of a premature power geyser. Still trying to pressure with those neutral bees. Now he's just kind of throwing out power geyser. Hoping he runs into it, I guess. Flexing on it. He's got the ghost Ooh. sauce online. He's going to connect once. Oh, he oh, just used the, the um, SD. I was very winnable for the Samus, though. Very winnable. Okay. All right, that was a good showing from Chariot there. A good, good, a good way to adapt from um, from Chariot. True. But that's it's one one now, right? Yeah, it is one one right now for both of our players. Now, I feel I if that, definitely great adaptation from Chariot and using that neutral beat to his advantage. It definitely gave him the upper hand in that match. Also, if it's possible, since we're having some delays on our information channels here, <laughs> can you guys tell me what round this is right now on the bracket? Anyone in chat can tell me what, what, what round this is. I greatly appreciate it because I need to update that round indicator. If no one says anything, you just put winner side. Yeah. Nice one against the Bowser slash DDD. You're in quarter? I'll just put winner side for now. Oh, All right. Ooh, the switch up from Samus to Wolf. What do you think? Uh, we got a little bit of a flashback here going on with both Pelon and Chariot. I mean, excuse me, with Chariot's last match, which your opponent switched it up to Wolf as well. Well, you know, Wolf. I mean, it's gonna be a biased match for me because you know I I just love Wolf. I definitely see more aggression from this Wolf as well. Now that Terry is not going to be able to just freely use neutral B, he's going to need to like deal with this pressure from the wolf. Nice tech There we go. I think both players still here in the very even. Terry being able to catch up a little bit percentage wise. Ooh, just missed the punish with that uh Oh dashing attack dash attacking the other way. Ooh, nice up smash. Just like Another that, Terry's one. the lead. Just give him the elbow, dude. The people's elbow. Man, Terry's not messing around, man. He, he wants Definitely. to win. Ghost sauce is online for Chariot right now. And so he's gonna be able to use it to get any confirms. Helen looking for the back air. Yeah, definitely. Wolf trying to, get, to rack up a little bit more damage with those lasers. Ooh, power guys are gonna connect. 52% already. Straight up eats it like it's nothing. Eats it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Wolf now uh, using aerial approaches to closing some distance on Terry. Oh, almost taking that stock. 95%. These are devastating somehow, power geysers. Somehow still living. Almost got the shield jab, break. Jab, power, yeah, almost got the shield break. Just throwing up power geysers. Going to ask him a question, though? Oh, oh is there going to be punished? Any no punish the wrong way. It. 
that would have been the stock, but alas. See, this wolf, he's, he's gonna be able to punish uh, Terry's options here. That's that stack almost gonna be able to close here. the deal here. Let's see. Oh, you okay? Are you okay, Palin? Struggle a little bit there. Nice neutral air. Still racking up a little bit more damage, but you know he's got to be able to close out the stock here in order to get a fighting chance. Backer's gonna do it. There you go, two two right now. But Bell at a very big one fifty five percent deficit. Still winnable, you know. He's definitely still winnable. Wolf can easily rack up damage. Um, up smash gonna be able to close out that stock for Chariot. Uh, Pelon, uh, down one whole stock. Do you think it's definitely still winnable here? Or Wolf can pop off. Oh, no, I no. think for the for the Wolf to secure this dub, he's gonna have to uh, guard the ledge better. You know, definitely. get him on the on the non uh, with his up be not snapping. He has to punish that forward tilt or something. See here, nice shield pressure from Terry, punishing all these landings from Wolf. Let's see, Wolf gonna go do anything with that dash attack? Nothing else. My, my main advice for this Wolf is to camp. I mean, the Terry can also camp in back as well. I mean, they only have both of them only have one option to zone them uh, with projectiles. Ooh, I thought he was gonna get stuck under stage right there. Yeah, that, that looked a little bit too close. Nice down smash uh, punish with the. Oh, oh. I'd be coming a little bit short. Well, it was a good set. Good it was set. A good set. Both players really playing well. And you know, let's see. Let's let's analyze this. <laughs> Kowalski analysis. But I feel that if. Do you think he would have won if he stuck out with the uh, Samus? Pelon? I I can't I couldn't I can't say. I honestly can't say. I feel I see, Pelon he plays was... differently with the wolf than he you know than he how he, he was zoning with Samus and he just switch, switches to the opposite to rush down with Wolf, like Yeah, definitely one thing he could have capitalized, like our chat once men mentioned. Um is trying to edge guard the Terry better since that that recovery on Terry is very uh, easy to punish. Mm, he wasn't abusing it. He wasn't abusing it. So good showing from both of these players. That was a really good match to see. Oh, we get to see more of those. Definitely. I'm you know I'm really glad we haven't seen any Sonics yet. No Sonic cheesers. <laughs> Thankfully. Let's take a look at the bracket. Yeah, how is it looking over there? We got one, two, three. We have three matches in court winners quarterfinals. Okay. Oh, we're already in quarters. That's pretty good. But how's the how's the loser side looking? We got any of our players who came up here and tearing it up? Yeah, you know, Nathan Bonecrush here is in seventeenth right now. Nathan's Owen loses round four right now. One is uh, he won his first loser side match. Who else do we got? You know, I feel we're definitely going to be seeing some more chariot soon. Um, that I've also, I have not seen an exceptionally good Terry. You know, one that can just. Uh, I'm the cloud, bruh, by the way. Oh, okay, he's a cloud, bruh. Okay. Yeah, dude, that, that zoning uh, on your cloud. Mm, Nathan's the cloud, bruh? Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. We're getting my next match information. My phone can update. Oh. <laughs> Here. Cobra versus Max Max Show. Round as well, please. The 
It shouldn't be too difficult to get these rounds, right? Alright, we got Cobra. Let me update these scores and names. Let's see, based, uh, do you know, do you, can you see these players on the bracket? Maxow. Yeah. Masho Maxow. No Maxow or Maxow does not exist. Cobra. Ready? I'm uh, not getting anything for Cobra either. Alright. We got a Mario and a Richter. Man, Wait. I love I just love watching good Mario maids, you know? Like Mario is hype. He is hype to watch. I agree with that. Especially the ones that use the side B well. Those are just fun to watch. Yeah. Already, though, we're going to see a lot of B pressing from this Richter. Although, already racking up a good amount of damage from Mario here. Let's see here. Oh. Oh, we're, we're, in, top, we're in top 16 right now. Oh. Ooh, that ladder. I, I didn't kill him though, didn't kill him. I just love seeing those those up air combos. Like it's just so satisfying. Let's see here. Both players still pretty even. Ooh, Axe is gonna be able to connect though. I, I haven't seen this Mario reflecting any projectiles yet. How about you? Oh, downbeat to Sidesmith is going to confirm that stock for Masho. Man, I hate that down B at the ledge setup. It's just... What do, what do you do? You just die, I guess. Yeah, Masho definitely uh, taking advantage of every strength of his kit. What, what What happened there? Masho, I, I, bring I out the down I mean, he was able to get out of it, which was a good option for him. Nice up B. Oh, reflecting the cross. The Masha definitely a, a dangerous 166. Cobra still not being able to capitalize on, you know, an up smash or a side smash. The, the zero special just flick the C stick. Looking for the back air, but. Someone punishes from Masha. He's hard. punishing Mario's landings and capitalizing on all these aerials that Mario's trying to bring out. And another side smash is going to. Be able to close out that stock for Masho. Down smash, finally. finally gonna be able to close out the stock for Cobra, but Cobra's still down one whole entire stock. What do you think? What can Cobra do here to you know, bring it back somehow? Just up air combo. Yeah, upper combos are, you know, it's definitely working for him a little bit. Up air combo, up B off. Oh, he's gonna go for a funny aerial. Play. More up air though. We're definitely racking up that damage now. But Masho definitely being able to camp him with that downbeat. So dangerous. Oh, the axe is going to connect. You know, I wonder, is this B button worn out right now? Oh, <laughs> side smash is able to connect. The guy I Ooh, went against wants to DQ. Listen, B3, you're going to have to talk to Tio about that. We're just commentators. <laughs> Cobra out here is going to be able to get the funny aerial. Nope, not yet. Nice grab, though. Go. Back right there. Oh, Ooh, nice back here. Evening up the stock. Still an 88% deficit, but it's still winnable for Cobra. Just trying to approach through that blue fire, the sacred fire. Up B punish from Masho. Oh, Ooh, the space in the back. out forward aerial from Masho. See, so the thing about Richter, especially online, like, you just. There's, it just covers everything. Like what? There's just always something else. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's just, it's so hard to get past that wall of projectiles that uh, characters like Richter, Young Link, Toon Link, or any of the zoners, you know, that they put out. It's hard. It's Ready? something that you need to be able to. Oh, what's going on? Just they're running they just it back. Ran it right back. 
All right, running it back. Let's go. And I got to switch the names here. Right. Okay, running it back. Masho versus Cobra. Well, I I think that I think the Mario might have learned from last match. Maybe a better way to maneuver around the projectiles, but I, I think he got to, oh almost. All right, I think he'll secure the bag this time. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> All right, let's see. Masha definitely getting a little bit more pressure from the Mario. Mm. Although Masha just being able to like out zone the Mario here with his options and his wit. Oh, trying to go for this cheeky up smash. But once again, I feel like our Cobra here, he needs to be able to, he needs to jump less. You know, because Masha is just uh, punishing every one of his jumps right now. Come on, bro. You ever you ever play with Mario Bros? All he does is jump. He's gotta do some more grounded approaches, though. He's approaching with a jump. Ooh, nice back here from Nasho, clearing up the stock. I'm surprised uh, Nasho didn't get clipped by the the fireball earlier off stage. Yeah, definitely. Like, went right through it. Cobra trying to uh, get a little. Uh, what do you call it? A gimp going on. Ooh, nice up smash from Cobra going on. Let's see here. Nice pressure from Masha once again with all the items in his aerials. Fantastically spacing out the Mario. Gets hit by both right there somehow. Up air, up air, only almost two. Going, going, almost. He, he's got to be able to punish those uppies. Right. Oh, oh! <sighs> Try to go for it again. Ooh, too early on that act. He's gonna be able to close up the stock from Masho. Let's see. Nice grab. Ooh, nice damage being racked up. Cobra trying to go to come back. Funny aerial? No, not yet. Oh, that was there. so close. You know, Cobra finally getting some momentum going on here. If Cobra's able to reflect a few more projectiles, he, he could definitely gain the upper hand. Nice parry from Cobra. Oh, oh the, the SD from then. that show. Just like that, it's even both, again. Yeah, both players pretty even right now. Only 20% deficit from, with Mario. Masho going with that uh, cross from outside the stage so you can just get the stage control. There you go, punishing the aerials with that cross. Finally gets a punish. Oh, gets a tech on the platform though. Not gonna be able to continue the combo. One thing he, uh, that Cobra could do here, he could try to read the, the aerial dodges from Masho as he's being comboed. Ooh, misses that deflect once again. Oh, oh Force that, Smash is gonna clear it. it up. Masho with the 2 0. Finish it, finishes it with the classic down B into forward smash. That classic. That was a good fight. That was really good. Good showing from both players. Although Masho, Masho definitely gonna be a, a force to be reckoned with here in top 16. Top eight now for him. Congrats to both players though. Let's see. I, I feel mo most definitely our Mario could have try, uh, timed this reflex a little bit better and getting some more, uh, what do you call it? Some more, um, like, you know, more combos, more damage.
he was reflecting he was doing well with the reflector like he was reflecting a lot of them it just there's just a couple here and there that caused them to lose a stock yeah definitely although that immense projectile pressure from from masho is gonna be a, a force to be reckoned with we'll see how he does higher up in the bracket since you know more experienced more um skilled players will be able to play around those projectiles but that that cross definitely going to be able to give him the upper hand with the stage control man honestly if that mario would have landed one of those forward airs you know those up airs into forward air honestly he should have just won the match like that he should have just been given the dub proceeded to the next round in the bracket even if he lost. Right, we are moving on to top 48 losers. Uh, Deviants versus T-Burns. Excuse me. Let's see what these two players are up to. So we got Deviant into the room. By the way, I just realized people can see my uh, character choice on the lobby. As if, well, that matters or anything. <laughs> but I swear, I'm not a pilot, man. I'm a tool man. He is, guys. Don't <laughs> he, he is, guys. Don't listen to him. He's a pilot in tool link main. You're exposing me, dude. <laughs> my sets have been good so far. I've had two sets where I've got double two stock and one set with double, double three stock. No, hey, as long as you can learn from your sets, dude, like that's always a value. Man, I need to start training Smash again. It's been a while. Like, actually training, though. What to do right here? Bring out the Wookiee, I see. Yeah. Let's see here. What do you think? Both got a curvy profile pictures. Do you think it's going to be a... Let's see some King DDD or some Meta Knight? Honestly, the profile picture dictates nothing. Because look at my profile picture. Like, what even is that? That oh, just means you're a Peach Bane. Huh? That yeah, just exactly. Peach I'm not a Peach Bane. I hate Peach and Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> Too technical. Too technical? I mean, well, you just sacrifice your hands to play Peach, you know? Sacrifice mm, them to no. the Samsora gods. I have arthritis, bro. I can't. I can't be learning Peach or Daisy. Alright, let's see what our players are going to come up with here. Top 48 losers, so obviously you know losers. If you lose once more, that's it. That is your tournament run. Best of luck to both of these players, though. We're going to have to change the player names again here. You know what I miss? Oh, Young Link and a Captain Falcon. Young Link? Oh, I'm excited for this. I miss watching those big tournaments, you know, like those, the, the majors, you know, I want to see another, I miss seeing those tournaments as well, but we got this to focus on. We got Captain Falcon and Young Link. Now, both of these characters I'm very familiar with. Young Link definitely has those combo potentials with all of his projectiles. We know Captain Falcon is going to have that hype, hype. Knee of the people. But right now, though, Young Link is definitely having a commanding lead against uh, Captain Falcon. Just the use. Oh Ooh, my goodness. Down there is going to finish there. off that stock. It's only 30 seconds. I, that was quick. I I can't. I, I, yeah. What do you think here? I think I, Captain Falcon is definitely struggling a little bit trying to get past these projectiles. Same problem that uh, we had last match with our Mario. Young Link is just too good, and he has my favorite skin on, so you 
Just, uh, you already know who I'm Ooh, going another for. Another Dana. Captain Falcon's already at 103%. It's already his second stock. Or are you gonna finish it off? No, not yet. One of the downsides of Young Link, though, just the kill power is severely lack, not severely lack, a little bit more lacking the other links. Ooh, nice back here. Gonna finish off the stock. Although 151% deficit and right back at you says Young Link's gonna take up that stock. Captain Falcon down right one whole stock. Are they gonna? Is he gonna be able to bring it back? Yeah, I feel okay. Captain Falcon here is trying to fish for that downer way too much. What do you think? Yeah, but it's still lose. It's it's still winnable for Captain Falcon because you know Young Link is light. Like a forward smash, like at 60, 70 percent at the ledge. Oh, at the ledge, you know that'll be it for the stock. One thing Captain Falcon's gonna watch out here is that downer, yeah, definitely, and also that up smash from Young Link trying to catch his landings. That's why I love the downer because of the lingering hitbox. Yeah. Downer, up air, lingering hitbox on both Young Link and Toon Link, or any of the links in that case. Deepin though at a dangerous. Oh, oh that's, that's gonna be it. T Burn's gonna take the first match here. Very commanding lead from Young Link. What do you think? The Young Link was just playing really fast. The Captain Falcon couldn't keep up. He was just getting hit by everything. Just yeah, he was, surprisingly, he was looking since, down you know, too much too. Yeah, definitely. Captain Falcon, you know, being a very fast character as well, wasn't able to keep up with the Young Link. Especially uh, one of the strategies they can try, as uh, when playing against uh, Link in general, is uh, you can try to catch him on their item when they're trying to pull out their items. So, one thing, also, yeah, that Cap Falcon definitely trying to down there too much, in my opinion. Uh, trying to, I don't know, Goomba stomp him way too many times. But T Burns here with a very, very commanding lead. 1 0. Trying to keep his loser's run alive. I wonder if he's going to stay Captain Falcon. Yeah, he might switch it up here. He might switch it up since, you know, it's a zoner, Captain Falcon, I can go have too many options to come in and close the distance. Imagine yeah. just another wolf. He pulls out a wolf. Another Man, that would uh, the wolf pocket. Another wolf pocket, dude. That, that's a, that's not a bad pocket, you know, considering that it's, um, you know, it's a good versatile, easy character, you know? True, true. What do, what do you think? Oh, <laughs> uh, he bust out you the wolf. He called it, guys. You called it the wolf pocket. <laughs> the wolf pocket coming out. <laughs> man, as much as I love Youngling, man, I just love Wolf too. I, I, I want to see this underdog win. Yeah, definitely already a different kind of lead coming Ooh. in from already a stock. 10 seconds stock from Deviant. What a lead. Already being able to gimp the young link. Barely taking 1% of damage. This Man, is such really a, a this is like the other side of the cone for Deviant. Oh my. He's trying to go for everything here. I'm gonna go for the down, the down, uh, down air off stage. Let's see. Man, this dude, Deviant not the, just came up with the rush yeah. down too. Deviant is just, you know, this is a whole different beast going on here. He's like, I'm sorry, Master, must go all out just this once. And he picks Wolf. See, T-Burns, though, already coming with a rebuttal here to uh, Deviant's up close and personal combat. Don't oh, missing the grab the there. See, Deviant though, still a very, very commanding lead here. Let's see if uh, T Burns can adapt to this wolf going on. Let's see here. Both players now, you know, momentum, momentum has gone down a little bit here for both of these players. What do you think here? Uh, up smash from either one of them. Actually, anything really. Yep. Ooh, forward throw. Forward throw. That nice buff coming in nicely for Team Burns. Nice snare from Deviant. 
Not, okay, now he's definitely gonna try and fish out for that up smash. Ooh, somehow, the somehow. side special. Oh my god. How did that work? It was right next to him. Would it be that like he uh he was right under him on the ledge and the ledge like shortened that distance? I couldn't even tell you. Even if I asked that guy himself, he, he just Oh my the, goodness. Does he have a speed dial, dude? Like, and he dies for it. He dies oh, for the for the No! You hate to see the ST happen. Deviant still oh, he, t burns at eighty four percent deficit, but Deviant, you know, is that gonna blow his momentum a little bit here? Man. Even fighting tooth and nail and bang and fur. That back here has got to finish it off. Deviant with a nice commanding comeback. You're good, but I am better. Man, what was the term they like people use? It's been a while. Like, I haven't watched any Smash tournaments lately, but like style, right? The style when always oh, trying to style on him. It's been a while. He's to, he's flexing. He's like. Dude, yeah, he seriously, he just took off the weights. He took off the weights. He's like, I'm sorry, master. I must go all out this once. Man. What a match. Down him and he lost the stock. What a match for both of these players. Wolf. Oh, wow. Let's see what um, Deviant and T-Burns are going to pick. Uh, do you think Deviant is now going to switch characters here? Do you think he's got a wow. pocket wolf as well? I imagine the wolf versus wolf. <laughs> wolf versus wolf, ditto. Both pocket wolves. Last time I saw that was at Genesis 6. Regardless, though, these two players, though, it's like, first match, Steven was like, all right, you know, this is going to be my match. You know, your Captain Falcon's not going to be able to do anything. And then uh, T Bone was like, oh, no, excuse me. T Bone was like, yeah, no, 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 no. What, what are you talking about here? I'm going to pull out this wolf. He's gonna style on you all over. Oh, he was handicapping me. himself, though. He, he's too strong. Let's see. T Burns sticking with the young Link. Deviant sticking with the wolf since it worked him so well. Although, this time, I think. Uh, let's see. Well, players a little bit even. Not as much of a commanding lead that Deviant had last time. T Burns definitely. Man. He's pulling out all the stops with this item. He's just throwing everything. The whole. Throwing the boomerang, the bomb, the kitchen sink, his bomb's phone number. Hopefully. Hey. I gotta take those for both of these, how the, both of the way the, these players are playing. Yeah. Deviant looking for any opening he can get. Nice uh, spot air dodge. Punish? Nope. No, because that boomerang is coming in. He's gonna uh, set up the young link to, uh, for a uh, boomerang setup. Let's see. So many items being thrown out. Spin attack, not going to be able to do it yet, yet, just yet. But the up air is going to close up the stock. Deviant the down one stock. Let's see if Deviant can... Uh, ooh, clinking with a spin attack. Let's see if both players here can... Ooh, let's see. t burns being able to recover. Deviant still strong to get an opening here from all these projectiles. Nice spin attack punish. Good option just to like get any rolling around you punished. Let's see. Clash. Even's Clash. already at 100%. Very dangerous for him right now. He can lose another stock here quickly without finishing off T Burns' other stock. Let's see here. Ooh, down tilt to up air. T Burns gonna be able to finish it off once again. Deviant still is trying to get that opening. Young Link at a 129%. Definitely being able to get a kill here easily. Still back here. No, not going to be able to do it just yet. Almost got him with the spike. Down tilt up air. Deviant's getting caught by that down tilt up air. But nice snare into the blast zone. Deviant still down one whole stock and 97% deficit. Let's see, can Deviant pull it back off again? Oh, you see T-Burns trying to fish out for that down tilt. That up air is just so disgusting, man. So powerful. It lingers for so long, you just easily punish, like, air movement. Let's see, you know, T-Burns is going to try to fish out for that spin attack, down tilt, anything that can get him up in the air and get that up air confirmed. 
forts for Oh no, nothing. Okay. Let's see, Deviant being very careful. 173%. Is that gonna be it? Not yet. Yeah, still winnable for Deviant. Still winnable. Deviant almost gonna hit 200 percent There you oh. go. That's gonna be 228 percent Finishing up it off down tilt to up air. And this young lead kinda going crazy though. See if this young lead is gonna be able to make it to top eight here. But great showing from both of them. Deviant with a nice comeback on round two. Definitely commanding lead, but wasn't able to um to continue that lead onto uh match three. But yeah, uh what do you think uh about that last match in terms of the both of these players is um you know performance? Well, obviously they're both really good players. You know, the the wolf the wolf was definitely the switch. It's just that up air just he was he wasn't he was dealing with it incorrectly. Yeah, definitely. It's one of the things that the wolf should have um watched out for is that down tilt and spin attack since most of most of uh, young links moves just send you right up in the air to that up air and they're all safe most most of them are safe yeah most of them are safe i was really hoping to see the wolf make the comeback you know like get it down to like even stocks one one and then down throw into side b off stage you know yeah, down just to the side b style now only if you have a stock league can you do that you know yeah, but like, what if he's at two hundred percent? You know. You know, I feel at two hundred percent, you probably just back throw him. You will have to sacrifice the stock. Or is no, that I'm saying Wolf was like, a yeah? Actually, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. Although, good, good showing from both of them. It was really a fantastic uh, performance. So you're trying to get the next match going right now. I'm trying to see if um, you get the info going on. Let's see here. Still no no word from our TOs on what the next uh, match is. But so far on what we've seen, what do you think is our strongest contenders? I think that Young Link definitely has a chance to make it to our top eight. We also I'm got, really liking. Oh, who else we got? We got Chariot or Terry. Mm hmm. Um. All right, we got Ace Curb versus Midnight Hunter. I'm really, I think the cloud, the cloud is gonna take it. Ooh, uh, Nathan Bruh. Bone Crush? Bruh. Let's see here. Get our players in, get it going, get this match going. Once again, I don't know what the round is going to be for this. <laughs> top 128 winners. Wow, we went from top 16 to one top 128. So got a lot of smash to go through. <laughs> Wait, no. Okay, yeah. Still no news. Uh, any word on? Uh, we got our players. All right, yeah, they're coming in right now. Midnight, where have I seen that before? Top 24, okay. Let's see. Let's 
Let's see here. Can you find any of these players on the bracket? Uh, Midnight and who? Midnight and Ace Curb. Midnight Hunter. I've seen Ace Curb. Because you can tell on the bracket um, where it is that the what what play, what uh, characters have been playing, so you can get some insight on their on what what we're what is to be expected here. Does the control F not work anymore <gasps> on the bracket? Should work. Still waiting on our ace curb to come in to get this match going underway. I know he's in chat, but I don't see him on the bracket. Oh, he, I, I think he was the one who had the set going for more than an hour. <laughs> Uh, let's switch up the music a little bit here. I've been hearing the, uh, the practice theme for too long. Let's see here. Right. Yeah, some Zelda bangers. Some Zelda bangers, dude. All right. Still waiting on Ace Curve to come in. Well, we got Midnight in. So I know Midnight, Midnight. It's calming down a little bit here. Hold your horses. Any updates on the opponent for Ace Curve? Relay this information that Ace Curb is not in the lobby yet. All right. So since we're still waiting on our. Oh, I'm getting word here that Midnight has not checked in yet. So if midnight here, if you're watching the stream, best be able to check in right now. Yeah, Ace Curve, we got you here. Midnight still has to check in though. But he's in the lobby. So we're basically waiting on midnight. Wait, how did midnight get in in the first place if he hasn't checked in? I don't even know. <laughs> Okay, he guessed the arena password, bro. He guessed it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, hold on. So, Ace Curb has checked in. But he's not in the lobby. But Midnight's in. But he hasn't checked in. True, true. How does this work? I, I, I don't see the correlation. Well, well, well. Ah, oh, here we go. We got Ace Curve in. Uh, has Midnight checked in? Oh, no, no, no. So Ace Curve apparently did not check in. It was Midnight who did. So we're just waiting on Ace Curve still. <laughs> Anyways, uh, they, were you able to find out anything about the players? No. I can't find him for some reason. Like, Control F is just not working because I tried it for Max, Max out earlier. I, I, did, I tried doing Control F, but then I didn't. I couldn't find him. But then I just scrolled through it randomly and I just see him. He's already in top eight. All right. 
Got it. I think uh, Ace Curb is uh, loyal and... Or, yeah, loyal to his username. He's gonna be a Kirby, perhaps? What do you think a Midnight is gonna be? With a name like that, you know. I'd say... Bayonetta. Bayonetta? We haven't seen a... Yeah, we haven't seen any... We haven't seen a lot of characters yet. We've only seen a... Terry, Wolf... We've seen one Young Link. A couple Samuses. Not a lot going on in terms of character diversity, I'd say. I want to see... Well, yeah, we saw one Captain Falcon. I want to see one hero, dude. I still want to see the hero. Mm, I do not want to see hero. <laughs> dude. I, I, let me tell you, dude. The hero... The hero plays would be hype. And if the hero does come out, you better know all of your... What is it? 24 down <laughs> Alright, let's see what these two players are up to right now. Man, I'm excited for Grand Finals, because I just know it's going to be a good match. Oh yeah, dude. If it's going to be anything like our last match with our like these comics that are happening in the last match with Wolf and, and um, Young Link, you know, both players adapting to each other very well. Man, imagine just from here now, just Wolf, 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 Wolf. <laughs> eight Wolves in top eight. That, uh, I don't know. Uh, I was <laughs> like, all right, yep, there's a couple furries on the screen. That's it. <laughs> Bro, they're lucky I didn't sign up for the tournament. Lucky. Lucky I'm retired. both players up to right now. Still waiting on Midnight and Ace to get into this ring. Then, I don't know how long. <laughs> so we want a good 5-10 minutes waiting for these guys. I'm retired, it says Pirate Knight. Although I got hidden. It's probably too close to that other word. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, Chris here. He's a he's a retired pro player. Mm -hmm. He's had brand deals such as um, OnlyFans and uh, Patreon. True, true. <laughs> Man, I, I, what are the? All right, we got one selecting right now. About time. Good, 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 good. We can start to get this underway. Man, my neck hurts. <laughs> my neck, my back. Stop, you can't do the rest of that. <laughs> Ooh, oh uh, yeah, we got it right, we got a Kirby. Kirby versus Joker, eh? Kirby versus Joker. Then we're gonna see Kirby with a gun here. Mm, perhaps. Yeah. Alright. Let's see if it's gonna go for both of these players. Obviously, Joker considered one of the best characters in the roster. Kirby considered one of the worst ones. But, you know, I trust in the skill you know that have brought has brought Ace Curb all the way to the top 24 winners. Was we'll he using how it Kirby goes. the whole time? One would assume. What a mad lad. Alright. So, no, uh, lots of footsies from both of these players. Not a lot of action going on, although Kirby gonna be able to punish that gun up. B, I don't know how you call it. <laughs> gun storm. Bullet storm. Let's see. Gun. <laughs> gun. Alright, Arsene oh, coming out. Not gonna be whiffing that punish. Minute's gonna be able to 
rack in a lot of damage with Arsene here, especially his side Bs. Ooh, crap. Up air could have finished the job there. Fishing for that back air with Arsene now. Man, I'm scared for the Kirby, man. Just a little pink gumball versus a stand. Like, come on. <laughs> Joker is activated. A stand. Let's see here. Arsene is out, though, so no more imminent danger from Kirby. Still. Ooh, Ooh side smash. Random. Showing how wow. light this Joker is. He really just went for it. He, he don't care. Let's see here. Joker still, you know... Kind of desperately trying to get a back here. You know, he's going fishing. He's on the rivers right now. He's got Arsene, though. Dash attack couldn't finish it. Ooh, back here, though. Finally gets it. Both players even in stocks. Arsene is still out. It's very easy for Midnight to get back in even playing ground here with Kirby. Nice side special. Arsene is out once again. What do you think? What do you think of the play style so far that we've seen from both of these players? It's. I don't know. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> it's definitely. It's very. Uh, both. Both of these players are like fishing for any damage that can be hit here right now. I see a lot of back from Kirby. Ooh, another, another side smash. Oh, reading nice. the roll. Oh my goodness, he, he doesn't care. He just does not care. Let's see here. Oh, and he's, he knows, Kirby knows, like he's charges side smash, he's gonna run into it. Lol. Let's see here, can Joker pull off any moves? Nice back here with Arsene. Really trying to zone out. Oh, up smash is gonna be able to punish that down B from Kirby. That so once good. again, same scenario as last time. Joker down at a 50% 50, uh, 50 deficit here. But Kirby though, just racking up the damage to these side smashes. Don't uh, Joker, very dangerous here to the death. They see me now. Just he doesn't care. He just does what he wants. Kirby being like, hey, you're a top tier character? Come show it to me. Dude, today I will beat you. <laughs> Let's see here. Kirby's looking looking out for anything here. Oh, guns. Caught him slipping. Ooh, trying to go for that cheeky down smash on ledge. Joker almost has Arsene. Ooh, Arsene is out. Kirby. Very likely able to lose the stock here. Back here, right here, we'll do it. Ooh, or another dash attack to go through as well. Definitely d very dangerous for both of these players right now. But Midnight, he's got to be able to finish that stock. Oh, it's going to be very difficult for him without our send. Dash attack from Kirby will do it also. Oh, Ooh, he just hit side him smash. With his own punishing, medicine. punishing the aerial. Excellently spaced from midnight. He just took a page from his book. Well, fantastically done from both of these players. Yeah, it was looking a little bit one side, like it was in favor of. Ace curve for like the majority of the match, but then you know, True. Midnight just managed to you know space out those attacks of his. What, what, what do you think about uh, their performance here? Kirby, he had it going, but it's just at the towards the end, the Joker uh, started getting value out of Arsene uh, compared to the other stocks. So that's kind of what like messed up Kirby. I I definitely agree with that. Like Kirby, like he had it going for him. He was like right back at ya on a lot of the things that Joker was coming was pulling out. But Joker, you know, just that, you know, that one. I don't know if you can call it lucky. You know, that one lucky, uh, you know, punish. You know, letting him win the game. 
And that's what matters at the end at the end of the day, you know. As long as you win that game, you know, it doesn't matter what you did. You don't have the W. True. Don't have the W. You know, it won't matter. Let's see if uh we're gonna see any pocket wolves coming out here. Imagine. Another pocket wolf. <laughs> I'm sort of just like expecting at this point. It's like, oh, okay, another pocket wolf. Or yeah. will Ace Curve, you know, stay loyal to his main Kirby here? Ace Curve back in the ring already. Bring it on, he says. Still Kirby. Right. Both of them running it back. See if this Kirby will be able to adapt. We got a change of scenery as well. Let's see, both of them still playing footsies a little bit. Not too much damage going on. Ooh, nice punish from Midnight from Kirby's down B. Let's see here. Midnight definitely playing a little bit more cautious here. Spacing out the Kirby, not letting me get close. He's doing some more side Bs to his advantage. Ooh, there you go. The shortness from Kirby. Working to his advantage. What do you think? Do you think uh, Ace Kirby is doing a good job adapting to the Joker? Or is it still looking again like the beginning of the first match here with Kirby's commanding lead? Ooh, he's trying to go for that down B. I think he's getting used to the Joker because, you know, he's just not letting him hit him, you know? Like, it sounds simple. Yeah. But he's a, lot keeping of, his a lot of these uh, side Bs from Joker are just going right over. Um, Kirby's head. You're not being able to get a lot of value from his side B. I want to see more more edge guarding. Yeah, you saw from the Kirby, he tried to do down B off stage. Yeah. Let's see here, both players above 100. percent Very dangerous for either one of them. Ooh, cheeky down smash! Another down smash. Had the read too, damn. Yeah. Not gonna be able to connect though. My nice side beam. Clicking on him and forward. finishing off the stock. Punishing that up B. So he's snapping it to him. Ooh, nice combo. You know, nice little bit of 30%. Ooh. Good, good, good punish from Ace Curve right now. Both players, I say, still even right now. Let's see if any player can try to gain the upper hand. Ace Curve finally getting some damage in, some nice combos. Oh. Oh. The, down the down air. He, he Ooh, still not gonna back. finish it though. Not gonna be able to put him down That's into legal. the blast zone. That's illegal. Yeah, the double downer, not gonna be. That's surprising, you know. <laughs> Somehow he lives. Somehow. It's, uh, it's the power of friendship and uh, the, the Phantom Thieves. He was able to survive. Arsendo gonna be able to bring up big damage, nearly killing the Kirby. Oh, the read patch. on the ledge roll. Man, I hear sitting comfortably a stock above. But will he be able to capitalize on his advantage? Kondo right now, Kirby's just gonna bust that or not, S smash. What is the payout for tournament? Um, currently, last update is that we had forty dollars on the price pool. 
By the way, uh, most of our price, our price pool is dependent on donations since it's a free tournament. Uh, if you'd like to donate, just go ahead and click on the link that was provided earlier today. I think you have to put it again, or yes. our guardian put it. You follow this link that's to our donation page. Oh, it's not popping up. Last time you just directly linked it. F smash on read on the roll. Damn, what a way to close it. That's 2 0, right? Yep, 2 0. Midnight wins this set. You follow this link, that's to our donation page. Anyways, this midnight looking cool Joker. Looking cool Joker. Midnight taking that set 2 0. Over you know, not, Ace Curve. Not bad for like a Kirby versus Joker. Like, come yeah, on. Definitely you know, not. Joker's one of the best characters in the game. Uh, am I streaming the second chance bracket? That is dependent on the TO and what matches he gives me. What uh, and I, players are sent our way. I didn't even know there was a second chance bracket. Uh, it's the loser's bracket. Oh. All right. Good showing from both of these players, though. Good games. Yeah, Highlight good of that games. was definitely the double down air. The double down air from the Kirby. That that was so dangerous for the Joker. But he still managed to squeak by. Yeah, run through the SSBU. Uh, that's the match stream here is all dependent on our TO and what information he relays to me. Let's see, how's the bracket looking though, Chris? Uh, losers is almost almost done. Winners, there is a one, there's one match left, and then winners, no, two matches left. I thought it was a 3 p.m. MSC, so are you doing this next week? Yes, this is a weekly, weekly tournament. Sync up Saturdays. Uh, and I believe it'll still be free. Once again, prize pool is dependent on the donations that we receive, and we're giving to the players. Let me message our TO. Next match and round, please. No, definitely, definitely good showing from the ace curve. I feel, you know, making it all the way up here to top 24 winners with Kirby alone, it's, you know, it's pretty impressive. It's definitely got like that raw skill going on. Still waiting on the word from our TO to see what the next match will be. Uh, Nathan Bone Crush and Midnight Hunter. So we got. Top 16 winners, we got Nathan Bone Crush once again coming in. And we also got Midnight coming back for another round. Wait, who's coming back? Midnight's coming back, and we also got Nathan Bone Crush making yet another appearance. So on, the, Joker. on the Jumpertron. Oh. It's Nathan Bryce the Joker, right? I mean, the Cloud? Yes. Mm. The lethal Cloud. This is going to be a good match. Yeah, so... Now that you know, we've seen both of these players play before on the Jumpatron, and uh, we know uh, their strengths and weaknesses a little bit. What do you think is going to have the upper hand here? You know, 
Midnight or Nathan Bone Crush? Assuming it's gonna be Joker versus Cloud. You know, Joker as a character I think is better because he just has like a better kid in my opinion. Mm -hmm. But you know, the way the the Cloud was uh, spacing out his sword and his back air is just yeah. I don't know. It's it's hard to tell. You just gotta you just gotta wait and see. In their their playstyles. Yeah, definitely. I, I agree with that. It's Nathan Bowcrush, like he he has the spacing of Cloud like down to a T right now, and that's definitely what's uh, allowing him to you know just push through that bracket. Um, what else? But with Joker, one thing with Midnight is that it was probably because Kirby, that Kirby's a small character, but he wasn't able to get as many combos off with Joker. It was a lot of like fishing out for attacks and any trades that he could get. Um, so it all depends on whether or not uh, Midnight is able to get any combos going off um, with Joker. It, it's all dependent on that. Only one of them is in here so far. Yeah, we only got Nathan Bone Crush in right now. And we got Midnight. Yeah, Nathan Bone Crush. I'm the Cloud. Yeah, dude, we, of course we know you're the Cloud. <laughs> right, I'm excited to see this matchup though. Two very good players. Two very good performances before on the Jumbotron from both of them. And I'm excited to see who is going to be able to prevail. The, let's see, my friend said something about you saying I was Joker. No, 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 no. it was Midnight who's Joker. Wait, playing any jokes on you, Nathan Bone Crush? <laughs> we know, we know you're the cloud. You're the, the space your cloud. Up in Mars right now, dude. Get these top 16 winners going underway. Both uh, both players, I'm assuming, are doing their stage bands, whatnot. I need a neck massage, bro. You know what? Winner, winner of this tournament gets to give me a, a neck massage. Yeah, you, you have nice like neck muscles going on, dude. No. <laughs> They just, they have the pleasure of giving you a neck massage. Yep. True. Uh, winners of this uh, bracket will also be able to um, play me the piano. You know? <laughs> mm, I know what song. I need like a knee to like straight to my back. You know what I'm saying? Like straight to my neck. Honestly, I've been sitting down for too long. <laughs> it's quarantine not letting me go outside. So we'll make the best of it, you know? Let's see, both players still selecting. Nice, we got Nathan Bone Crush in. Midnight still selecting. Let's see. It's gonna be the Cloud over Joker. Of course it is. All right, let's get this top 16 winners underway. Nathan Bone Crush versus Midnight. Cloud right, this versus is one. Joker. This is gonna be one of the best fights, one of the best sets in the tournament, I say. Three, Top ten anime battles, two, you know. One, uh, already seeing a little bit of zoning from Nathan Bone Crush. Let's see, Joker, really, you know. Very deftly playing around the cloud to get any damage with his guns, his side B, punishing his landings. Let's see here, nice forward air from Cloud. Ooh, punishing the rolls too. All right, limit is online right now. Tried hit him with the down air, but nope. We're gonna nice see the new here. Nice back here's coming out too as well. Ooh, trying to get the neutral get up. I don't know how he didn't get hit by that. Ooh, ooh, nice, nice, nice. I thought that that, uh, that projectile from Cloud um is very, you know, not not that. Yeah, not that many people know 
that it's a it goes on to the ledge, you know? So it catches some players off guard. Although right now midnight not sitting too comfortably well with 141. Maybe another back here is probably gonna finish off the stock. Nice uh catch from the neutral get up. And dash attack's gonna finish it off. Three to two stocks right now. Nathan Bonecrush is very comfortably right now with the lead. What do you think right now? What can Midnight do to try to even up the stocks? Oh, just that. Exactly what he just did. <laughs> just that. Nice upbeat punish. Punishing the landing from his guns. Here. Both players still just playing footsies, trying to get any damage in. Nice cross slash from Nathan Bonecrusher. Bruh. Arsene is out. Daddy Arsene, can he carry Midnight to victory? Ooh, racking up that damage already. Nice. Filthy back air. Side B, yes, that's exactly what I was looking for. Well, right now, the limit is online for Nathan Bone Crusher. Oh, no, nice no, punish no, on the guys. down air. Arsene gonna be able to clean up that stock real quick. You know, now it's, look it's looking like the tables have turned a little bit. Midnight is adapting really well to Nathan Bone Crusher. Nathan Bone Crusher is not able to get in onto Midnight because Midnight is just, you know, playing around him all the time. What do you think? Right, yeah, you're right. Let's get a nice up smash punish from Nathan Bone Crusher. Let's see here. Both players still. Nathan Bone Crusher getting a lot of damage racked onto him. Getting a lot of value out of this second stock right now, and the fact that he just has arson means he's gonna he, do it. Yeah, he can Hopefully finish he it off right now. One. Yeah. Ooh. He just used limit break. Trying to fish for that back air right now. Nice use for guns, trying to once again keep him at bay. Yeah, up Ooh, nice up here from Nathan Bone Crush, but at a 112% deficit right now. This is very dangerous for Nathan. But it's he never bring back here, you know? It's definitely doable. Because right now, Joker has no Arsene. But Joker is at a measly 14% right now. So it's easy for him to get Arsene. I'm surprised uh, Midnight hasn't gone for any, like, uh, down guns off stage. Okay. Easy. Yeah, I easy. definitely. It's just... Especially with Cloud's recovery. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I would have been abusing it. But who knows? I probably wouldn't even have made it this far into the match. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Using limit there already. 165 on Nathan Bone Crush. Backer's not gonna do it. Joker doesn't have that many strong uh, throws. Ooh, trying to get to read that roll. Arsene is online. Anything can take out Cloud right now. Nice up be punish. Back to one done right there. Midnight, you know, Midnight looking a little bit desperate to finish off this uh, th this last stock. Ooh, both players here. Very, very feisty. Nice up he punish. That's Arsene there. But still, Arsene's very gone. doable for, you know, Arsene-less Joker to finish off the stock. But, Limit is online. It's all gonna come down to Limit. Oh, Ooh! that's it. What? He had it. A oh, he stuck. Had it. Bone Crusher, <gasps> sticking it out until the end, finishing it off with Limit Cross Slash. What do you think that uh, so based on this performance just now, you know, what do you think, you know, um, Midnight could have done there differently? I mean, Midnight had that in the bag. Cloud was at two hundred percent. I was looking for a grab, a back throw at the ledge. I think would have done it. Maybe he could have. He was going for it right there at the end, but he just got clipped by the side B. Yeah, but also, he would, I felt like he was getting a little bit desperate, you know. Yeah, definitely. Getting a little bit Midnight sloppy. was very desperate to finish off that stock. He was fishing for too many down smashes, uh, way too many back airs, and you know, Nathan just you know, 
very patiently, you know, channeling the chakra. What a comeback, true. Yeah, what true. a comeback. That was a fantastic comeback. What we're gonna see here if Midnight is able to adapt to that cloud. Midnight, you know, he did have that game in the bag. So we'll see. Maybe we'll see that in this next match coming up. I think they're gonna stay the same characters. Yeah. Why wouldn't they? Or oh, oh, maybe he's switching it up. Pocket Wolf coming in. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think they were just selecting stages, but man, that was that was a fantastic. You know, if only we had player cams, I would have loved to see a player cam. Just see the focus that uh, Nathan could have had there. Ready? Yeah, they're both staying the same characters here. Just jump the names real quick here. Oh, and city. And here we go. Going up. Match number two. Starting to see a little bit more action from Midnight here. But, you know, we can't let it, um... You know, Mid Midnight, you really gotta uh, maintain his cool here while, you know, having an advantage. Because that, that was, um... If Midnight maintained his cool last match, he would have been able to close it off real quick. You know, desperation, you know, it's in City's killer in these top matches, you know? Ooh. We, we, yeah, I think if we, we would have gone for guns off stage there, he could have really gimped the, the cloud. Nathan Bonecrusher needing to use that limit to recover. But still, excellent spacing from Nathan right now. Down guns will just, oh. it, it'll, it'll just do it. It'll just do it. You see that, um, what do you call it, that reflect attempt from Midnight? So Nathan was uh, just spamming projectiles and it, uh, Midnight was like, alright, I'm gonna reflect this next one. No, Nathan baits it out. Nice right. up yeah. smash from Nathan. He's doing what he wants. He's playing off the momentum from last match. So, oh, is he oh. Gonna... oh, he got <laughs> stretchered! They hate <laughs> it. Someone called the hospital. We got a man on the stretcher. Unfortunate from Nathan. He gotta be mad. Yeah, you can't let it break you though. You still got a whole match to play. You know, two stocks. It's even for both players. So nice cross slash. Still gonna rack up the damage nicely. Shield pressure, that shield is crying right now on part of Midnight. Nice, okay. Bone Crusher is really covering a lot of options here from from Joker. Midnight looking a little bit more desperate again. You know, just trying to get any damage in using those guns. Midnight knows, I mean, Bone Crusher knows. He can just punish that uh, up gun. Bone Crusher looking for that back here. Whoa. I wasn't gonna look at another stretcher moment. That platform is making me nervous. Imagine he loses imagine he loses all his stocks like that. <laughs> Getting stretched all the time. See, yeah, Bone Crusher still oh he's gonna have to use the yeah, he's gonna have to use something there to recover. Bone Crusher looking for that up smash or that back here. He's not, he's not quite able to finish off the stock here from Midnight. Midnight is just able to catch up easily here in terms of damage. Oh, side smash from Midnight. Almost had it, but it would have been the the sour spot of the up smash, even if that hit. You know, once again, it's like it comes it comes down to like, you know, if you can steal yourself from these moments of trying to close off the stock. 
Hopefully. Hopefully nice they, yeah. back air from, from Bone Crusher. Both players even stock. This could be it for the win uh for midnight on the winner side. Still one one, still still winnable. Let's see here. Nice, nice up B. He's got cross slash ready. He's able to get a confirm here. Possibly finish off the stock. Here. Midnight is desperately looking for any hit he can get here. Oh, the back air. It could have been lethal for Bone Crusher. No more Arsene for Midnight, though. Let's see how Midnight can try and pull this out of the bag right now. Has limit. It's going to come down to. Yeah, it's going to come down if he's able to connect that limit right now. Come down to arson versus limit, but it's looking like Cloud's gonna get it first. Yeah, definitely. I feel like Cloud is able to get limit more often than Joker is able to get arson. Bone Crusher taking any moment he can get. Oh, not gonna be able to connect. But like you said, well, right now arson is gonna be able to come online. Ooh, the up smash almost. nearly being able to connect. Barely missed his toenails. Yeah. We give it a little toast trim, you know? <laughs> Guns are like, hey, hey, son, your, your, your nail's too long. Let me help you out. And then he stuck on him. Alright, yeah, let's not go too far. <laughs> Our send no is down. out. Oh, Ooh, oh, side, side tilt. Oh, he's gonna finish it off. Well, on to the next trial. On to the next trial, indeed. Just hit him right in the face. It's, uh,. 1-1, one, one, right? It is 1-1 one, one right now for both of these players. It's gonna come down to this last... Hopefully it's a last... Or it's gonna be last game, but hopefully it's a last game, you know, last hit type of situation. Yeah, definitely. But it's very close for both, both of these players. Both of these players, you know, downloading each other's PDFs. Up to the scores here. Here. So based on their performance here, what, what do you think changed up from Midnight? You know, I, I still feel like I saw a little bit of desperation from his end on trying to like finish off the stocks, but it definitely affected Nathan a little bit more that round, especially when he was trying to finish off that second stock from Joker. It just you know led him to being punished more often and you know giving him that you know those last stock last hit situation. What do you think? Uh, if Joker, Joker, all right, this game, if Joker was playing anything, uh, I mean, if Midnight was playing anything, I probably was just playing this game. I think uh, Nate, uh, Midnight's gonna win. But I'm just, I'm not seeing any down guns like off stage. That would definitely just be an easy start. Yeah, definitely. Midnight would have the upper hand if he was edge guarding a little bit more. It's so easy to edge guard with Joker. It's kind of free, actually. <laughs> Just aim your guns downwards. But at the same time, if he's not able to edge guard the Cloud, then, you know, that could also be his demise. That was his demise the first match. You know, he wasn't able to edge guard him. He didn't get take chances. And so, you know, it, it cost him the match. Well, let's see if any of these players, you got any pocket picks. I think they're going to be the same. Oh, the oh, pocket Lord. wolf! <laughs> why not? Because why not? It's going to switch it up from... Oh, we've got the final destination with the brawl. 
<laughs> the brawl track. Now, I think both of these players, good. I mean, based on Nathan's performance as Cloud, he definitely has the spacing potential. And now that he has a better rushdown character, I think he's really going to be able to capitalize on Midnight's, uh, you know, desperate uh, tendencies. We'll have to see. Yeah, we'll see here. So far, you know, it's looking kind of even. Both players trying to space each other out. I can't believe he actually went wolf. The though, pocket wolf I once hate, again. I hate playing. I hate. I hate wolf versus Joker matchup. How so? What, what, what makes you hate it? You just you could get spaced out so easily, and then that you're so easy to edge guard wolf in the first place. And Joker is one of the best characters to edge uh, to edge guard with. Yeah, I definitely see it right now. Uh, Joker is trying to zone out the wolf. Using that side beat, you know, stabbing on them. <laughs> Flicking that wrist, dude. Yeah, that's probably one of the... Uh, this FD looks cool, but I really dislike the background noise. <laughs> It'll be like that. Oh, oh I'm not gonna be able to recover. The tether been, is way too short. That might have been a Miss Impa right there, side beyond accident. Now, Midnight throwing out a few more moves now than before. And it's definitely, you know, it could be that desperation, you know, that uh, pressure building up on the player's minds. Midnight looking for that side, side tilt on the ledge again. Ooh, nice side smash. Very beefy, extra, medium, rare. And now he has Arson. Yeah, he's got Arson now, but he's gonna be able to capitalize and close out a stock here. You know, it's good to have Arson now when your opponent is, has high percentage, but not when he's low. I'm sure, you can try to rack up a lot of damage, but a lot of the times you're just gonna be able to get out of the combos. No punish on the with the Rebels guard. See. Definitely Midnight being able to rack up a lot of damage with his guns. Oh, look for that cheeky side smash, but too much yogurt on that one. Both players just fishing for anything, you know? Let's see here. Nice grab from Nathan Bonecrusher. Oh, that was too close. Activating the lag switch. My bad, guys. <laughs> Let's see here. There's def I definitely see... It's it's a lot of fishing right now. We're at a fisherman's festival. Finally a down gun. Uh, yeah, yeah, down gun off stage. Finally. Yeah. He's gonna do it again? No, he's gonna stay on stage. Think... Could, uh... Do you think Wolf could possibly capitalize on... Well, yeah, he's already capitalizing on Midnight just staying on stage, but he's on stage, he's able to recover for free. True. Like, even if it's not down guns, like, he could go down there and meet, meet him with a uh, back air. Back air. Yeah, just run off and back air. Or, you know, if he has Orsano, he could just uh, use counter, but that side tilt is going to be able to finish off the stock. But, Ralion, we are top 16 winners right now. Arsene is uh, going to be able to rack up a lot of damage here. Nice oh, down smash right from ahead. Nathan Bone Crusher. Only 41% deficit, which is very comfortable. It's very winnable. Let's see how both of these players are going to be able to adapt to each other on the fly. Nice back here from Midnight. Still anyone's game right now. Yeah, still anyone's game right now. Although Midnight is able to win a lot of these interactions right now. Ooh, nice read on the roll. Oh, it's what he wants. Yeah, right now, 
Mena is able to... He, he's reading a page from Nathan Bone Crusher's book right now. Ooh, very premature counter right there. I was really expecting a wolf side B right there. I, he, he had it. Ooh, nice read on that roll. Arce is going to run, run out before he's going to be able to close this. Yeah, he's going to run out right now. All right, both players very even. This is a last hit, last stock situation, but down smash is going to do it. No, nope, not yet. Oh, oh, he goes on stage, though. It's very close for Nathan. It's very close for Midnight. My dad, that's not going to do it. No, back throw is not going to kill like that. Very risky. Very, very risky situation for both players. <laughs> one smash, one grab, anything. One side tilt, almost gonna do it. Nah, oh, dead. that's gonna be it. Damn. And that's gonna be it. Midnight is gonna take the set, moving on to top eight. And Nathan Bonecrusher moving on to loser side. What a good match. Good match from both of them, yeah, definitely. I feel like uh, Midnight, he had a, a, a lapse of, you know, all right. This is what I gotta do, you know? Nice. This is gonna happen, I'm gonna read everything, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do my moves. Wow, what Whole a game. match from both of them. Whole game, Nathan was just getting back on stage for free. Definitely, that, 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 is, that is one thing that uh, me and I can try to do more, just edge guarding, getting off the stage and doing guns. Can I donate 1,000 for next tourney? Dude, you can donate 1,000 right now, and we still use it for the tourney. <laughs> That is Imagine. poggers if you do. Poggy Poggy. Yeah, Poggy, Poggy. Alright, who we got next? Up next, we got from Let me uh we got Mint Crep and D. Let me go ahead and kick these other two players. So yeah, as I'm being told. D is a Bowser and Mint Crep is, you will guess it, a Toon Link main. Which I myself am very excited to see because I am the Toon Link main myself. Bowser versus uh, Toon Link, this is, this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, um, based on like, you know, my previous knowledge of, oh, excuse me, my previous knowledge of, you know, the matchups with Toon Link. Being playing against Bowser, it can be a little bit. How, how would you say? Like you know, against heavies in general, it's very easy to string together like bomb confirms as Toon Link. But other than that, you know, Toon Link does need to watch out for any heavy hitting attacks from Bowser because you know he's so light. I don't know, what do you think? Toon Link versus Bowser. Toon Link wins. Toon Link wins? Yeah. Oh, here we go. D versus Bowser. Let's see how this goes for our players. Three, two, one, this is round go. top 32 losers. Oh man, I love the sun. <laughs> Let's see here. Already getting some good damage with Toon Link here. You know, Bowser is. What do you think about Bowser as a character? I feel like he is um, more of a, you know, punish character. Nice boomerang to to forward or confirm. He's one of the more fun, more fun heavies, you know. Because, I mean, I feel like with Bowser, it's like you definitely capitalize on different, what do you call it? Yeah, like you capitalize on down air, and then you do up B out of shield to punish a lot. Ooh, forward air would have finished it there. He's, oh, yeah, he did it. the big mad brain play from Bowser, testing off the stage, just grabbing two like That, that was care. the best option for him. That was so valuable right there. 
Yeah. 170 damage. All that work from Toon Link gone in an instant. But you know, Nothing. it's very easy for Toon Link just to rack up that damage once again. Bowser is such a big target. He almost got the spike right there. That would have been crazy. Yeah. Nice bomb to forward air. Oh! Not the bomb to forward air off the stage. Kind of take notes. I'm taking notes here right now, dude. I see, I see those uh, the Z drops going on. All right, Bowser, they're capitalizing on, on that. Nice stock confirmed. Only 15% deficit, which is very, very comfortable for Bowser. It's not really much of a loss. They're pretty much even at the moment in terms of weight. Let's see, that shield, though, is a little bit in pain there on the part of Bowser. Nice bomb to forward. Oh, another forward there. Another one, though? No, it's not going to be it. Ooh, nice uh, B reverse with the movement. Oh, that would have been it. Yeah, we've seen a lot of these uh, bomb to forward air confirms, and that's like the bread and butter for any Soon Link. Ooh, not going to be able to capitalize on that uh, spin attack punish. Another one. That's going to be it. It's going to send it over there. Oh. Nope, not yet. Still winnable for Bowser. Yeah, still winnable. Ooh, downer. That's the first downer we've seen. That's going to finish it off as well. Mint Crep with the Toon Link. The first Toon Link you see on the Jumbotron as well. Good showing from both of these players, I'd say. I'd say, um... What do you call it? I'd say... Mint, Mint Crep. Definitely just being able to use all of those items to his advantage. And to just, you know, keep the Bowser at bay. The Bowser's not be able to go in and punish most of uh, Toon Link's moves. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> True. I don't know if this guy's going to stay Bowser, though. Yeah, definitely. It's, um, I would say it'd be a smart move to switch off to a more mobile character. Or someone else who can, you know, compete with Toon Link based on the zone, zoning uh, level. Uh, I would, I, you know, let's see here. If he were to go another heavy, it would be another case of like getting comboed a lot and getting a lot of damage racked up on you easy, easily. But right now, it's like if um, if D is able to switch over to a more mobile character, then he could gain the upper hand against the tune again. Um. Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, he, he could gain the upper hand against uh, Mint Crep. Catch him on those uh, item grabs. Nope, they're gonna say the same thing. We'll see how this goes for Bowser. He's gonna be able to adapt. Three, two, one, go! On Battlefield now. Definitely gonna uh, work as an advantage for Bowser for those side B command grabs. Bowser starting off with a good lead here. Oh yeah, do you see? Do you see that uh, side B you tried to go for? Yeah. Although these platforms also work in favor of Tuna because that up air, just like any other link, it lingers for so long. Bonnie nice forward. Boomerang to bomb to forward it, and that recovery is not going to let him get back onto the stage. There you go. That's an upbeat punish from the Bowser. Oh, nice side view. Oh, I'm not going to be able to capitalize on the top platform though. Let's see, Bowser not going to go off stage here. Nice Try movement from the mint crack right now. Nice read on the get up attack. Ooh, oh, this man is smoothing right now. 
Dante here and interrupting him with those arrows. You know, they say uh, Toon Link's arrow arrows are the weakest ones, but they still work as a good, like, interrupter for any approaching enemy. Oh, getting a nice 40% off of that fire breath. See, the only thing I like about Toon Link is his arrows, because they travel so slow, you know? Yeah, they're good. Uh, oh, that's going to be it for that stock. Now, the best option here for Bowser is once again to use side B and go off the stage. Because he's at that percentage right now. So he's gonna go for it right now. Yes! He's, oh, he's not gonna go off stage though. The one with the lower percent controls it. Ooh, nice forward air off the ledge from Mint Crep. Oh, not gonna interrupt Bowser there, though. Yeah, using the side beat a lot there. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be oh, it. Hard. Wow, what a stop. What a... He just... A no comment. Just no comment. Yeah, no comment. <laughs> Mid crap takes the match. <laughs> Good set. That was a good set. That was a good show. Um, D, definitely, like, he was adapting a lot at the end there. And he was able to, you know, get some side B reads onto Toon Link. But Toon Link just, you know, barraging with the arrows, the bombs, and the boomerangs. He wasn't able to do anything about it. But good game from both of them. And, you know, that's, that, that is it for D for this tournament. Mintcrep keeps moving on. Your loser's bracket. Do you hear any any other thoughts you had on that match? Uh, just well, well, the last stock. It was just I think his jump got eight right as he went off. Yeah, uh, he probably oh. didn't notice it. And he thought, like, oh, okay, edge guard a little bit more, but, you know, stuff happens, man. Well, you know, a heavy versus a, a projectile heavy character, you know, it's not always. It's uh, it's going to be a tough match, obviously. Yeah, it's going to be a tough match for the heavy character, I'd say. I mean, um, I, I, I have a lot of experience with um, two, uh, my two link versus um, uh, Ben's uh, Ganondorf. You know, and you know, you can combo off them, but like you can get punished for your moves as well. But Bowser, one who's not able to close in distance very quickly, of course, it's going to be a lot more difficult for him to be able to punish the Toon Link. But it, like with other heavies, um, you got like you got like Ganondorf is able to down to close in the distance. You got two other heavies. You got oh, excuse me. <laughs> you got Donkey Kong to be the closest with the dash attack. Something happened to the match between Midnight and Nathan. It's still active in Smash G, and it has been like that for a while. I'm not sure about that. Ask our tos. Always meta. Um, and you know, because we just commented, we're, we're not uh, managing bracket at all. And up next, apparently, we're going to have a loser's top 24, Daffo versus Santi. Let's see here, let me change the text here a little bit. We're top 24 losers. Uh, there's a lag test apparently going on. Anyways, how's the bracket looking like, Chris, right now? Just looking at it, I was looking at, uh, the Santi versus Dalfo. Nathan... Never mind. We got T Burns back. Why? Is T Burns playing?
We have one. Oh no, they two. already started. So it's gonna be T Burns versus Chris. Chris, you're playing in this match? <laughs> yeah. Let me just hop in real quick. <laughs> All right. We got five more sets, and then this we'll move on to the top eight. So we are actually in top 16 losers. Let's see here. T-Burns versus Chris. Still waiting on Chris here, so. My bad, bro. There you go. There you are. <laughs> uh, do you remember what T Burns was playing? Uh, I think he was a young link, yeah. Young link, maybe. Yeah. Now, once again, since we are nearing our top eight section, uh, you can donate to the prize pool. I don't know if it's possible you can. Uh, can I get an update on what the prize pool is at right now? Uh, from the TOs or uh, any other organizers. Either way, let us see here. I guess both players are still doing their picks right now. say I, I mean i don't know what chris is playing here but t burns you know still keeping alive with the young link going through losers i hope he's still on young link this match i want to see more of that that because no, his young link is crazy against that captain falcon yeah he's just no there's gonna be a pocket wolf though <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I don't doubt it i do not doubt it So currently we have $45 in the price pool right now. And it's gonna be Young Link versus Mr. Game and Watch. What do you think of this matchup? Uh watch is game and watch. Like but our young link, we've seen of uh, this young link form already. Yeah. So we already know he has some skill. But Game and Watch Game and Watch definitely has the tools to shut down any any projectile based uh, character really. And also, a lot of his moves are unpunishable. They're very fast and, you know, just very weird. Little but, Meister Jr. right here. Yeah, you know. Definitely, yeah, you know, he's got that reflector going on, which he can just pull out freely anytime, and it's, it can really shut down any projectile-based character. Okay. Hitting all that bacon going on. But I definitely do see a nice lead from T Burns right now. Not able to punish with that uh Harry right now. And looking for that man, don't this moves are just so fast, you're so safe. Young Links? No, Mitch Game watches. And we're not able to capitalize on the down air. Looking for the grab, but grab will do it at this percent. Yeah. Oh, you catching him lagging. The bacon, though. That's it. Oh. And he was able to capitalize on that early up B. Man, game watch. You forced to be wrecking with T burns, but Nair is going to be able to finish it off as well. A nice homie stock from game and watch. Let's see here. 
Both players still even, kind of fishing out for anything at this moment. Ooh, Bacon just slapping his face around. Game Watch, now knowing, like, he just freely pull out the up B, I mean, the down B. Just reflect any of the projectiles coming in. See, just like that. And now, it's causing a situation where Young League has to play around its own projectiles now, if they get reflected. Certainly a very difficult matchup for him. Oh, that, oh that's is that going to be it? Mm -hmm. That's yep. it. That's going to get Young Link into the into the blast zone. That's a nair as well. Mm -hmm. Another nair. He's going to finish off the stock. Both pretty even right now, but you know, Chris already getting the upper hand here in terms of uh, oh. Bacon again. Oh, the chair right is going to finish it off. That bacon is just going to you know, make Young Link's world into a hell. Do I need to call Sakurai and tell him to nerf Game & Watch again? <laughs> Pull up Sakurai. Uh, just wondering if you want to stream Winter Semis and Pool 2. I mean, that sounds cool. We just, you know, like I said, I'm getting all my um, matches from the TOs. I feel like uh, we need a change of music here. You know, we're nearing the top eight, or you know, they're in winter semis right now. They're gonna be in winners finals. Let's see. What do you think is a good option here? Actually, let me not change anything. Woo! We almost missed the match. Did we? Did we miss a match? I'm still watching. Oh no, they're waiting you for the funds. They're waiting. Oh. All right, they're almost. <laughs> they're almost there. Right, I'm only gonna do it in between sets, not in between matches. <laughs> we shopping channel. <laughs> Ready? We shopping. Anyways, so T Burns once again, they're running it back with both Young Link and Mr. Gaming Watch. Young Link needs to be able to work around that uh, reflector, Three, otherwise, you know. It could be another game one situation. See, I've had a lot of bad experiences with Game to Watch. I think we've all shared a uh, bad experience with Game to Watch. You know, <laughs> we all ha we all share the same common enemy. But once again, this bacon is proving to be a force we reckon with. Oh, 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 no. that's, oh that's a typical that Chris move right there. I know that. I know that SD right there too well. You know, just you know, trying to shield pressure and it's just not working out. And starting off with the whole stock ahead, Gaming Watch is looking like he's very, very comfortable. Oh, here comes out the lag switch. See, now both players just keeping their distance. Like, T Burns has to play this very carefully in order to, you know, you know, stay alive, stay in this match, stay in this tournament. I think they were uh, just waiting out the lag a little bit. And trying to read the landing. Bacon coming in again. Oh, um, man. Game Watch is just being able to punish a lot of these attacks from Young Link. Oh, he's in a wall to get back on. That was very close. Let's see, do you think Young Link has a good fighting chance to try to bring it back here? You know, it's obviously looking like a game watch's favor, but you know, it's never over until it's over, you know? Yeah, you're right about that. Just Links with his oh, head. That's gonna be the stock for Young Link. Now down two stocks. Game Watch still sitting at a 100%. It's not gonna be just enough. Oh, a bit of a lag going on. My bad. Yeah, Forward is not gonna be able to kill at that distance yet. Z I'm right now. He's got a lot of catching up to do. 
Ooh, nice yeah, downer man. though to read the Nair. This game will watch is fire. Yeah, dude, this game watch is fire right now. I'm going crazy in the studio. Bacon. Nice grab. Now, I see a lot more grabs coming out from Young Link in order to try and capitalize on a lot of other moves. He wasn't able to capitalize with his projectiles before. Oh, back here. Oh, that's gonna be it. Oh, wow, I put the wrong uh, score. <laughs> but Chris takes that. He moves on it's through loser's bracket. Meanwhile, T Burns, that. That's his run. That's the Young Link stream gone. Unfortunately. Um, I, I really liked his playstyle too. We like. Yeah, how he's it was such a great playstyle, but it just didn't work against Game Watch. Game Watch can just reflect a lot of his projectiles. Game Watch is like, hmm, you're canceled. Yeah, I mean, that's that's it for both of our for our Young Link, but you know, at least. At least we still got that tool link, you know. We've got, we've got the tool link. So up next, we have Bucks versus Nathan Bone Crusher in top eight winners qualifiers. So we obviously we've seen Nathan Bone Crush. This is his third time on the Jumbotron, and you know he's got that cloud, he's got that wolf, but we haven't seen this Bucks character yet. What do you think he's gonna go up against? I'm trying to find Nathan Bone Crusher on the brackets, but oh, I can't find him. There's Nathan Bone Crusher, our hero, our fighter, our champion. Uh, Bucks, apparently, uh, based on our sources, Bucks plays Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt? Duck Hunt. In 2020? Last time I saw a duck hunt was at Evo. Ooh, uh, ooh, apparently, the information they're looking for Nathan Bone Crusher is on the. I believe it's on Smash.gg that the information they're looking for. Currently, the prize pool. Last time I've been notified, it is at forty-five dollars. Um. Let's see what is the yeah what is the current prize pool? Forty-five dollars is what it was last updated on. See what both of our players here are gonna pick. He changed, he, he changed, uh, um, he should change his name from Nathan Bone Crusher to Nathan Bro Crusher. You know what I'm saying? Nathan Bro Crusher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and apparently, Chris, it's in Pool Two, is what Meta wants me to relay to you. If you're still watching. Pools? Uh, I don't think there's two pools. Yeah, there is. Really, there is two pools. Yeah. Well, yup, I didn't even know that. Damn. Wow. I had another two pools. So I guess I'm just gonna be another bracket with top eight. No, there's not. No, there's not a second pool? No, there is a second pool, but there's not going to be another pool of top eight. That just... 
because because I was looking that that's what I was telling you earlier I was like oh I saw Maxo I, I tried to look for Maxo on the bracket but then I saw him in the top eight you know what I'm saying Cloud versus Duck Hunt. Let's see how this goes. Now, Duck Hunt, another heavy zoner. What do you think is gonna entail for Bone Crusher here? Oh, I think it's just a input. I mean, input a button check right here. But what zone? What other zoners uh, did Cloud has Cloud fought? Uh, well, fought. he fought Joker, who was zoning a lot, but you know, not any, any, not any actual zoners. Finally, we get the first hit after finish. Oh no, they're lag testing. Excuse me. Yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. But I think, honestly, I think uh, if this duck hunt does any edge guarding, then this this this, this dub is good for him. All right, now let's go look at pool two bracket. So if Nathan, whoever wins this set goes on to top eight. Both of these players, I need to change the So once again, Bucks versus Nathan Bone Crusher. What? All right. What do you think? We're gonna see a lot of zoning from the Duck Hunt for sure, and obviously we're gonna see the spacing expertise of Nathan Bone Crusher. I think uh, Nathan. You know, we've been seeing a lot of Nathan already, so he. Kind of like my favorite right now. Oh, oh! This duck hunt kind of styling right now, though. Hard to say. He does have like a fifty percent lead. What he had? Nice up. Be punished. Both players still kind of even, you know. Let's say Buxo. So. Alright, there you go. Imagine Bean, if that's like Bean Can is gonna be a, a great force to be reckoned with. Especially since Cloud is gonna need to go here. And you know, need to be able to close the distance against Bucks. But that Bean Can, you know, gonna pose some problems. Ooh, Just nice projectile up. limit break. Let's see, can is Bucks gonna be able to finish off this stock as well though? Ooh, nice bean can combo. And he just and, falls right behind it. Yeah, he's able to finish off that stock. 2-2, two, two, only 17% deficit. Very good for Bucks. Bucks definitely, you know, setting up his campsite at the moment. Oh my god. Nice combo, nice bean cam combos from Bucks here. But Nathan here, he has cross slash limit break. See, Bucks has his support from his friend in chat, bro. That's what's gonna, that's gonna be the difference here. Definitely. So both of these players, one skilled in spacey, one skilled in zoning. Ooh, nice up smash from Cloud here. Let's see if he can kill him before he gets yeah, yeah, let's see. 
Let's see if Bucks is able to finish off the stock as well so they can start at even stocks. Ooh, nice parry. It doesn't matter. Bean can cover that jump. Beans, beans, beans. Definitely that that frisbee that a uh, clay bird is gonna be able to is gonna let um duck hunt to just close in the distance very easily. You see how Bucks is just like jumping around that bean can everywhere? Mm -hmm. He's just waiting for Cloud to go in. That way you can punish him with that bean can. Ooh, nice reversal though. So pretty even, but a little bit breaks about to come online. Yeah, definitely. Maybe uh, Bunkers is gonna be able to finish off the stock here. Limit break is online, but he's a, he has a limited amount of time. Ooh, that throw to Bean Can. It's always meta. He's here for Nathan. What if it comes down to Beans versus Limit Break? Who would win? Beans, obviously, right? Beans. <laughs> Who will win? A uh, <laughs> superior move that requires the exertion of, of past oneself or a can of Beans? Mm, beans. See, Beans just stopped the whole push and it's already out again. Look, he's just bouncing around like nobody's business. Let's see here, we have ran down almost five minutes into this uh, match already. Both at last stock, last hit situation. That oh. means doing a DBZ moment right now. Oh, that grab though. Oh, trying to get that throw to Bean Can confirmed. It doesn't matter. Oh, the back here is going to finish it off. Though. Nathan Bonecrusher once again coming out on top. What a good match. He just, his throws in the beans, bro. They just, they just might take it. They just might win it for him. Yeah, definitely. Like, Bucks here, he has a good idea. He, like, both players are very even right now, I'd say. And Bucks, like, he, he has, he's doing, he has, he's having an easy time just getting those throw and being can confirmed. But, you know, Nathan is just able to like space him out, get those back ears in, really get into um, Bucks's paws, you know, <laughs> closing in the distance easily. Yeah, those beans, though, dude. Let's go look at the bracket again. They're gonna stay the same. May I ask what the current price pool is? I believe last time it was updated, it was $45, Chris. Mm. I'm kidding, I know. Let's see here. Alright, once again, they're running it back. Duck Hunt versus Cloud. Let's see if. You know, Bucks is able to come out on top with those bean can confirms. Nice cross slash, racking up the damage so easily. That does so much damage, you know. Oh yeah, 53. We're, we're 50 seconds in. But I think this is the first time we've seen Lilac. Yeah. I didn't even know it was part of the rule set. It is, unfortunately. Lol. See, the reason people hate this map is because of uh, like the bottom part of the map, right? Yeah, the map. ledge is super jank. See, the reason I hate it is because it's too dark and I can't see. <laughs> Just get better eyes, dude. I'm trying, I'm trying. Just call up Sakura, get better eyes, dude. Alright, one thing I'm noticing here from Nathan is that he's starting to zone out Duck Hunt with his own neutral B right now. 
And, you know, that's that's allowing him to, like, interrupt a lot of uh, Duck Hunt's uh, zoning capabilities here. But let's see if that's going to be... Ooh, back here, finishing off that stock. Very nicely done. And let's see how much damage Bone Crusher is able to rack up with this advantage. Nice trade. Cloud won uh, first match, right? Yes. Keep in mind, this is still two out of three. Yeah. Cloud having a little bit of a difficult time to get back in, back on stage. Oh, there you go. That's a, that's an example of the jank uh, um, ledge. Like he was, <laughs> Cloud was able to hit, um, duck on through it with his up beat. Buck's really looking for that um, either the grab throw confirm or just a raw smash attack. He saw him, he's just down smashing, he's just side smashing, he's trying to do anything he can in his power to close off that stock and that side, he's gonna be able to finish it off. 1 1, 68% deficit for 4 bucks, but he's easily rocking up damage now. Ooh. It's already even for both of these players. Just like that. All he had to do was just dash. You just don't project out. Ooh, almost got the confirm. Buck still hasn't taken any damage after closing off that other stock. Missed the limit break, but uh, missed the limit break, but still gets the other cross slash though. Even for both of these players right now. Oh, down smash, gonna send him straight to the right side. Nice dash attack from Cloud. Let's see, both players back, back here, not gonna do it yet. Be able to get the up smash. Let me break online for Cloud. Alright, that'll do it. Yeah, it's gonna be able to. Only 58% deficit, but both of these players they easily rack up the damage. <laughs> the smash camera loves that can of beans. That can of beans. What brand of beans do you think it is? Bushes. Mm, Heinz. Probably Heinz. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's ketchup, man. man. No, Heinz makes me. Right? Oh. Oh, side smash, though. <laughs> that's gonna do it. Bucks taking the W. It's now 1 1. Next match wins. Yeah, next match wins. These are top eight winners qualifiers. Whoever loses still has a chance of going top eight because uh, they'll go to losers. Yeah, they'll go to and losers. Whoever they they if you go to losers you just have to win that match and you go in a losers top eight. Bush big beans. Well the beautiful bean footage. Let's see how it goes. Uh, are we gonna see the uh, wolf pocket pick once again? Imagine. I, I, I'm thinking, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's going to be able to really rush down Duck Hunt and catch him on a lot of his items. It's going to be a really important factor if, like, pick, yeah, Lol. there you go. There it is. The Wolf Pocket Pick. Nathan Bone Crusher versus Buck. 1-1. One, one. Duck Hunt versus Wolf. Top 8 winners qualifiers. Who is going to come out on top? Bruh. We've seen Nathan Bone Crusher's uh, Wolf to be way more aggressive than his Cloud. So hopefully yeah, that. Like oh, there you go. That reflector is going to help out a lot as well. Buck's trying to get that uh, up air. Oh, are you getting a lot of damage racked up on him, though? Oh! He comboed into his own beam can. Now, that's a uh, proficient use of the resources given to you. Buck's just looking for any hit being made. 
You know, it's a very looking like a campsite right now, dude. Wolf is a wildlife. Bucks is just a the happy camper going on. Now Bucks, he's able, he's he's trying to capitalize on the reflectors that um, Bone Crush is trying to bring out here and just grabbing him in the middle of it. I love the wolf pit, the wolf pick here, but it seems like he's still having trouble trying to get in. Yeah, he's definitely having trouble getting in. Oh, Bane Can didn't, or Bean Can didn't uh, connect for some reason. Yeah. Going right to it. Ooh. Probably try to input up smash, but it went to side smash instead. Oh, nice use of the Bean Can against the Hunt. Almost close off the stock, but that's I'm gonna do it that time. I was about to say another one of those beans will do it. Down one stock, and still has to Oh, there we go. Spoke to Commentator's Curse. I think Bone Crusher is lasering that uh, bean can to try and use it against Bucks, but it's not working half the time, most of the time. I think it takes like two shots for it to move, actually. But I saw him shoot him twice earlier, but it didn't move. Yeah, I think it's, if it's in the air, then it will move. But if it's grounded, as it was for a lot of the moments where he was lasering it, it's not going to move at all. I don't know, I'm not a duck on me. Yeah, me neither. Duck on spear. Nice up smash, though. Pretty see off the stock. He has a 92% deficit, though. It's going to be very tough, especially how it's going this round in general, for him to be able to, like, rack up that damage. Oh, definitely here. He's getting those grabs in, getting more aggressive, being able to get more more damage in. <laughs> Chewbacca's coming in. What does Chewbacca think? Mm, no. <laughs> See, oh, that was a nearly good setup there for Bucks. Both players now looking a little bit even, although Bone Crusher is at a dangerous percent right now. One confirming that can be it for Bone Crusher. I mean, well, Buck's still able to just, you know, get as many confirms as he wants, and that's going to finish off the stock. It's always the beans, man. Always, always the beans. Duck Hunt right now on this battlefield stage. His platforms are helping him out so much. It takes three blaster shots to move the wings. Nice side smash from Bone Crusher. Only 19% deficit. It's pretty even right now. Half the time is run down. Last game, last stock. Last Winter game, last stock. That's going to go for both of these players right now. Still looking pretty even, you know. Bone Crusher definitely adapting a little bit more to uh, Bucks' playstyle. See there. Finally getting some damage and finally getting a lead after Duck Hunt's, you know, lead for the, the, the rest of this match. But Bone Crusher able to get in finally. That beam can, it's dangerous. Both players even right now. It might be a last hit, last stock situation. Ooh, oh, everything is turning against Duck Hunt right now. Still anybody's game. It's still anybody's game, though. Yeah, you're right about that. It's going to come down to the beans. Who we'll can use the beans better? Who's going to make the better big beans? Heinz or Bush? Oh my god, that four smash almost came out. Went there though. Ooh, that bean saved him. He could have, what, down aired, edge guard him a little bit? Still anyone's game. Last hit, last stock situation. Oh! Those beans are looking dangerous. 
Which player is going to come out on top right now? Oh, and unlucky. Bone Crusher takes it. What he a had match. He had to bust out with the wolf for the dub. Yeah. Very good play from both of them, though. Uh, I gotta say, that was a good showing from both. Um, by the way, we can take a break right now. We're gonna go offline for a little bit. We'll be back in like half an hour. Yeah, good stuff on all the players right now. Congrats. Uh, we, we'll be back with uh, some more matches. Thank you very much. You know, props to the uh, to the duck hunt because you don't really get to see many good duck hunts. Yeah, uh, there's not that many good duck hunts, and that was a really good showing. That was a really like smart item play on his part. Anyways, I well we will be right back. See you guys in a little bit. We're gonna take a quick break.